Hello and a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, thank you for joining us this Tuesday. And boy, oh boy, are we super excited. I can always judge a day and how busy a day is going to be off our wake up call, because we kind of bring that as our little sneak peak show. We kind of bring onto that show everything that we're looking forward to uh, that's coming up on the day. And the comments this morning about this launch day show were off the chart. I just could not keep up. And the amount of you that got in early on this brand new launch was just quite simply unbelievable. And I've got to tell you, and I know I always say it, this is probably one of the busiest wake up calls we've ever done. And this launch, I think one of my absolute favorites, it is the watercolor Christmas. You guys have been chattering on about this so much over the course of the last 24 hours. And it is absolutely amazing. And you know what so many of you are commenting about is after our Christmas event, you were saying, surely, surely the team can't bring out anything else. The word fabulousness uh, came through quite a lot surely there can't be more fabulousness the guys can't do it again when it comes to amazing christmas collections this sara signature watercolor christmas complete collection proves that we can and we have done it again this is a huge collection it is so so very different i think to any of the christmas collections that have gone before as well and actually within this collection for me personally i'm seeing elements that i've never seen bundled together before making this possibly one of the most versatile collections that we have ever, ever done. I want to come in straight from the top uh, before I uh, introduce you to Sarah and tell you that already off a huge stock for a launch day, 25% of the stock has already gone. I cannot tell you how busy it was during wake up call and how many more of you have jumped in, in the last hour and a half and added this to your cart. We are talking about huge stock levels gone already and I will be surprised if this is still here at five o'clock here in the UK. You've got to be in it to win it. Uh, here are the details right there. We'll delve into this in more detail right now, but let's get uh, Sarah on and get her take on this. Sarah, this has been absolutely monstering out the door. I'm not, do you know, when Craig, Craig came skipping off the end of wake up call <laughs> and he's like, you're going to have a problem this afternoon because I've just sold almost all of your watercolour collection out and the response that we've had has been off the chat. Now here's the thing, I'm either going to take all of the credit or all of the blame here, whichever <laughs> way you want to cut it, because here's what happened, right? So I designed the collection and then started making up some sample cards. And what happened was, Ben, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if, can we try and get some 3D domes in this? Is there any chance we can do some more of the four snow? We've got four snow back. Um, oh, I would really like some acetate. Oh, I'd really like some vellum in this clay. Oh, can we have some die cut toppers? <laughs> and it was like, can we do, can we do, can we do? So that Leanne said, yes, we'll get it all. You can sample it and see which bits are gonna make the cut. I was then supposed to cherry pick the bits that made the cut. Everything made the cut. I was having, I don't know if you want to call it an off day, Ben, or an on day, but everything made the cut. So I'm just going to apologise now if I got a little bit carried away. Remember, everything's available individually on the website. If you just want to shop, put your own bundle together. You're more than welcome to because you can spend £40, $40 and save an extra 10%. Or if you have to have everything, everything is in the big bundle and i'm going to show you the consumables that you might want to order more of while you're on so ben am i just going to go for it and show them everything that's in it let's get diving in here because there's so much to go through isn't there it, it, honestly what you were saying yeah it was my decision to what made the cut nothing got cut it's literally the biggest collection i've ever seen yeah totally carried away <laughs> totally carried away i'm apologizing now or you can thank me now whichever way you want to see it right i'm going to start and we're going to look at every page of this pad because also i was supposed to choose my favorite page you know when we do a pad ben yeah you get three sometimes four pages of each yeah we've had to cut it down to only two pages of each because i put so many designs uh, in okay. look how many designs we've squeezed at the top and when you see what's at the back you'll understand why okay look at the papers so it's this beautiful. scandy feel to them you might want to get more of these guys because there's only two of each sheet right there's the look at these and it's this watercolor effect all layered up can you see how it's got like some in the background some in the foreground everything is double-sided 
So of course, if you want, there's the A side and the B side. The B side is all oh, equally just as good as the A side. Double A side. Look at the foiling. Look at the. Now you imagine if you're taking just part of it like that there, make a lovely topper on a card bed. Yeah, yeah. That would make a fabulous base of a Z fold card, uh -huh. right? So these are amazing. This, mm -hmm. wait, you see the card. I'll oh. plan with you later for this. And then look at the gorgeous little deer on the bottom. Now the whole effect is this watercolor collection, Ben. So it's all been hand watercolored and then what we've done is we've turned the hand watercolor images into a full-on collection Love look, at the, look at the b track look at the b track it's not a b track it's a, -track, a, -track. The a sides no b -side. right now this snowman you'll see him feature throughout is beautiful okay and we're going to be doing a little bit of watercoloring in the show this one has to be one of my favorites uh, by the way guys there's a six by six version of oh, this yes. as well so if i get you that look at this Everything's sized down for your 6x6 six six as well. So if you're loving it, we've got the 6x6, six six, but our, the 6x6 six six is almost the same as the 12x12. 12 12. Uh, the designs that are suitable, the size down we have done, these are wonderful. Oh, scrapbook pages with yeah. this. Right, then look at these. This is why, this is why we've done an extra. This is why you've only got two of each, right? 6x6 six six toppers ready to go, right? All these different ones. Box front, Ben. Topper sheets. These are for your little A2, A6 cards, ready to go so all amazing. off the front, okay? Then, well, you've got more, I mean, literally cutting them out, making the card. Yeah. You've got ribbons that you can cut out. Wait, you see me use these on loads of the cards. These elements as well, you'll see you can either use the watercolored ones that have been colored, or you can use some of the ones that we're going to be um, watercoloring ourselves. Uh, pages of die cut toppers. There we go. Right? So all of these are die, I mean, how many on that sheet? Tons. This is your little snowman's hat if you want to 3d layer it up the detail on them is all ready to go and you'll see we've then also turned these into stamps for you so that is your 12 by 12 pad phenomenal in your 6 by 6 pad i'll just show you at the back we haven't just sized everything down we've given you other toppers that are size appropriate at this size and then also some of the little card fronts that you could use for the matching tags I mean, aren't they lovely for little tags and Absolutely little card fronts? Right. But beautiful papers again. Now, if you're in for a penny, in for a pound, guys, and you're going whole hog, you must, must get the pearlescent card pad. Because this is, the four colours in it are absolutely incredible. And it's oh. that one with the pearl sheen that is off the chart. Now, amazing. that, Ben, for example, right, layered up yeah. with, uh, oh, I'm going to go straight in for it. Where was that lovely, the deep shades on here? <gasps> laid up on that would be fat right now look at that oh yeah those two together just off the chart of it. Now with that one there's your feature straight ready to go right so you get the navy blue as well then you've got that lovely it's like a really it's like an icicle color yeah and then your deep silver as well love them shades so those are your paper pads just warning you guys, you know what happens with our paper pads. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to say it again. Just go on. You know what happens with them, right? Now, look how Sarah got carried away. Look right. your face. I can't believe the smile oh, on your face. Oh, it's so carried away. <laughs> right. So, these are your vellum oh, with wow. the foiling on. Wow. So, we've gone for the high gloss silver foil. We've gone for the matte silver and also the white in the snowfall, right? Then we've got the vellum. Oh, guys, get more of the vellums. Get more of the vellums. Look at look at the That's sheen on them. Unbelievable. And then the white as well with the proper snowflake on. Then you've got the um, the matte silver. Yeah. And then actually, I just. I went for a matte white as well. I got a bit carried away. Your acetate, because I think of everything, Ben, right? So you've got you some do. regular thin acetate. You've got some of the snowflake acetate. And then we've put construction acetate Love in. it. Because we're all going to be constructing with it, right? So that is all of your papers. Absolutely amazing, right? Now let's get onto some of the accessories, right? This set here. This is genius. <gasps> Debomb.com. It is. Debomb.com, because what you've got is you've got the base of your snow globe. It can be made into either the basic snow globe or a bauble ornament, you guys in the US. It is a thicker die so it can cut through two layers if you want to make a whole shaped card out of it. Now if I just show you a couple of the cards that have got it in, right? This is the sort of thing we're talking about doing, guys, right? I mean, look at this. Snow globe with the snow on the, and then you layer up these bottom pieces, Ben. Now this is why you need the vellum and the papers in the background. Or maybe you want to do them on your little cards like this. Oh, look at these. That's cute. Uh, we're coming to the four snow that we've got inside. Yeah. Yeah. What about if you just want to do shaped cards of these? Yeah. You could actually do the whole shaped card. I mean, these are, do you know, they don't have to just be for Christmas, these. They're fabulous, right? Now, here's the thing, guys, right? If you are going whole hog 
on the dorms, right? You need this set, you only need one of these, right? However, you're probably going to want to buy multiples of these. So this is your set that has those snow globes in. Yeah. So the pack has 20 of them in. So if you want to get extras of these, 20 piece, get extras. You know this is going to be one item that's going to sell out. Third of the stock's already gone, Sarah. Right, so don't say I didn't warn you. Those are your domes, okay? I'm going to be doing the dome card for you in just a little bit of time. And we've done a small bag of the four snow with this yes. for anyone who's run out of it. So 50 gram bags, it's still going to last you a long time. Fully packed 50 gram bag of your four snow there. So those are the extras that you might want to go for and multiples of these as well as of the card packs, right? Now, that is your snow globe set. Then what I'm going to do is, you know all those lovely toppers we saw, Ben? Yes. We've made them into stamps. Of course you have. Of course we have. We've, course so we now, have. you can be a watercolour artist. So what you're going to do is, you've got all those little elements that you see in the paper pads, the little... You can create your own backgrounds. You can paint all of your own beautiful snowman. We're going to do a load of watercolouring this show, guys. It's called the Watercolour Collection. Clues in the title. Look at this lovely banner. Oh, oh and you could it. be writing people's names on yeah. here, and they're lovely. Now, what I've done is, I have then designed nine brand new colours to work with these Fantastic. and instead of giving you nine pens i've given you three pens and done them in your tri blends so this one is frosty blue arctic gray and festive red these colors have been designed to work with this collection so these are them nine brand new colors across three brand new pens and you can see just how beautiful those colors are to work with ben aren't they just lovely it's phenomenal. Really lovely. I love so we're going to be doing watercolour techniques a little bit later. So you need those pens. And those of you that just watercolour, you might want to buy just the stamps and the pens. But trust me, you're going to love them. Now, I've also done this set here, which is your builder snowman. So you've got the individual stamps, the individual dies. It all layers up to make a 3D snowman. Then we've got all the accessory pieces. So as we move on, you've got stamps like the, you know, the, they've got like the twiddly ends on. I love it when they do that. So we've got Let It Snow, you've got Merry Christmas, Winter Wishes, uh, you could have Christmas greetings, holiday greetings, seasons greetings, whatever you want. And then we've done this set here, which is your Let It Snow, but with the outer and then the inner. So Brilliant. I'm going to be doing some lovely toppers with that one a little bit later on in the show. We've got <laughs> snowflakes. This cool, keeps yeah. going now, by the way, guys. We've got snowflakes, loads of them. This is amazing. Oh, yes. So this huge snowflake edgeable, but then if you put two back to back, you can do a whole snowflake. And just to show you what that's going to look like, there, no, that's not it. That is not what I was looking for, Ben. Uh, I've got, I'm sure, oh, yeah, it's, look, it's on the front. Picked up the wrong one, guys, although that's lovely. Look at that. That's what we're talking wow. about, right? With the two, so that's your lovely construction acetate with your two layers of the snowflakes inside with that lovely let it snow with your 12 by 12 pad in the background all matted and laid on that gorgeous pearl card. So that's in there. Now, these trees are brilliant because can you see they've got the little bits of so you can colour into them as well, Ben? Yeah. So you can colour into them. You've got your little stars to go on the top. Then we've got embossing folders. That's so much. Oh, we're still going. So you've got this embossing folder, which is like your snow flurry. Then we've also got two sets of the border embossing folders. So I'm going to use these in my first demo. These are just incredible. So usable, so yeah. easy to work with. Lovely, nice edges. So two different sets of those. Then we've also got, and I think this might be the last thing in the collection. If I think of something else, I'll just be shouting you. Yeah? Uh, your 3D toppers. Yep. 3D choppers all with the foiling on there as well, Ben. Oh, they look brilliant with the foiling on. These are brilliant if you like the little stoppers for your easel cards and things like that. So that, guys, is everything in the collection. And chunky glitter. I, yes, I knew I'd forgotten something. Thank you. Chunky glitter. So I was supposed to show you that when I showed you the snow globes because inside your snow globes, you might want to put the chunky glitter or the four snow. So I'll be doing that. I'll be doing a demonstration in a little bit on the uh, on the snow globes but trust me when i say it you just want to stuck on extras of things like your 12 by 12 pads your vellums your acetates your chunky glitter your four snow um what else was it in the domes so, all, all the consumables basically because the consumables that we don't do very regularly 
and you need to panic a little bit here because you know normally it's the paper pads isn't it uh, that, that fly out the door and end up setting up the bundle we got the domes ahead of the paper pads individually at the moment we're talking about a third of the stock gone 25 percent of the stock gone so please get the collection and then stock up on the consumables as well if you want to get more of the domes those acetate domes 20 of those you'll need more honestly the fact that you can use them within your cards to make your shaker cards and the fact that you can make your own christmas ornaments this year how nice to be able to do that 7.99 a uh, is your platinum price or ten dollars 36 uh, over a third of the stock of these have now gone they are absolutely flying out of the door and talking about stock flying the main collection we're approaching a third of the stock now gone this is where you get everything honestly uh, you know that we're famous for adding in all our paper pads and vellum and acetate but this time around uh, you're going to get in there uh, your pens brand new pens you're going to get in there domes you're going to get in there your faux snow you're going to get in there your chunky glitter as well this is such a massive collection you need to make sure that you grab it uh, of course 169.56 in the US gets you that free shipping as well doesn't it uh, 131.99 here in the UK um, uh, this will be dispatched to you from Friday so you will have it in your hands very very soon indeed uh, and if you're shopping with us in Europe there's a different bundle for you due to some of the caps due to Brexit uh, you're going to have to um, slightly order the uh, bundle separately so there's a bundle for you which comes without the paper pads but then you can add those in in a separate order uh, if you have a look on our website full details are explained right there for you but however you're doing it and as Sarah was saying do you know what if you just want to pick and choose today and cherry pick uh, spend 40 or 47 extra 10 percent on cherry picking items but I think you're going to go for the full collection today I think you're going to be adding in more paper pads I think you are going to be uh, adding in um, all of those domes and more faux snow as well just take advantage of these deals um, and add these goodies into your basket one other thing that you might want to pop in whilst you're there um, are your um, water reactive um, ink pads 10 piece collection because again what we're doing now not only are we giving you, you know, all of these matching elements within the bundles but we're then putting together other mini bundles that will work and kind of make your bundle go even further so we've got the matching colors to go with this collection um, in your water color uh, Christmas ink pads so within this collection you're going to get your midnight you've got your green topaz in there all of these colors as you can see working perfectly with the colors and patterns that you've got uh, within this collection you've got ocean blue and seal brown we're also going to give you your orange your pink tulip you've got your baby blue in there too oh there's so many uh, you've got your uh, misty morning and then finally you've got your Chinese red as well £31.94 platinum price on that $44.48 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US and you're a platinum member the comments already are off the chart it's going to be one of those shows where I'll say straight from the top I'm not going to be able to do all of the comments because there's so many coming in uh, but there's so much excitement uh, Julie says afternoon all I've put in two orders so far uh, Jean says New Mexico here looking forward to this launch uh, uh, Craig gave a fantastic introduction on wake up call uh, Rebecca's in Barbara's in Jerry's in JK's in Patty's in saying this is absolutely gorgeous uh, I couldn't get the entire collection but I picked out my favorites that's a great way to do it uh, and lots of people saying that they're glad sorry that you did get carried away uh, and you didn't end up cutting anything out of this bundle because I mean what where would what would you have cut I mean come on seriously it's amazing well the thing is I figured I would give you it all then you could choose if you just wanted to cherry pick little bits but if you're a bit of a hoarder like me and you couldn't decide then you've just got to have to have everything aren't you yeah uh, right should we get going on a card right one of my favorites from the whole of this collection is one of the most simple papers this one here and I just absolutely love that Ben and look what I've done is I've just cut out a couple of small pieces so can you see just take a little piece from here little piece from there so you could get the same card out twice and then still have quite a bit of card stock look at that you've got still quite quite a decent strip to go at yeah and then look what's brilliant about this is that vellum exactly matches the snowfall that we've got on there so again the vellum is something you're going to use loads of now look what i'm going to do ben i'm going to get out oh i don't know if i've got any uh, yeah here we go bit of all purpose oh, okay. right so get me glue really well stuck down so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a nice bit all over the background here this is the I feel I hate it when we have the double A track sided cards. Well, I know stuff, what you ben. mean, yeah. And then you've got to stick a one down to the base here. That's why you need to buy more, sorry, you see? Yeah, you do. Get more. Th in this there. is this is one of them paper pads. And I think the thing is, we've had the um 
the twas the night before Christmas Sarah signature collection. Yeah. And I think what obviously I've I've had to go. I always do two Christmas collections every year, and I have to go vastly, vastly, vastly different yeah. with them so that you get a completely different style. And I think that that was my favourite paper pad ever that we'd done. The twas the night before Christmas. Yeah. This is just a totally different look again. So trust me, what whatever theme you're into for Christmas or if you're like me and I do a little bit of all sorts yeah. this is going to give you that lovely mix you've got it absolutely covered with both collections it's so so very different I, I really love this one and then look at that I'm just going to have that across the middle and yeah. what I'm going to do Ben is I'm just actually going to stick a couple of little bits of tape pen in the middle stick that down there so that what it does is it's going to kind of flop about oh so yeah it's just all nice and loose on there right good so that's my base card Ben then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back of the paper pad and just pull out some of these. So for example, we can use that lovely Christmas tree. Uh, I think we should have the little fox. Now look, you get multiple layers of it if you want to 3D him up, or if you don't want to 3D him up and you want to just use this one here, and that's a separate one, that can be completely separate. Uh, let's have a little look, I'm going to get, oh, we could have a little present on here as well. Mm -hmm. And then should we have like a little, uh, little robin to go on the side so cute so i'm just putting a few little bits our oh, hedgehog hedgehog we do like the hedgehog yeah get the hedgehog a few little bits out there and then all i'm going to do ben, is i'm going to go right we'll pop this on here and i think i'll foam pad it up just for yeah let's have a look have i got me i've put my big foam pad somewhere here they are right so i'm going to pop a couple of the larger foam pads onto the background here yeah so that we can have a really nice kind of 3d look and feel going on so um, let us oh. know what you've bought by the way i always like to know what's in your baskets there's so many orders being placed just as um sarah's just uh foam padding up the tree there susan's placed her order says i can sit back now relax and uh, watch the show i love 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 all of sarah's signature ranges uh, treasure heart placed my order along with a few extras uh paper and domes are yep. a M-U-A-T. M -m must have something over there. What is that? Oh, you have to tell me what that is. I, I, that's, I, I don't know these acronyms. Something must. Let me know, Treasure Heart. Uh, could not resist. Merry Christmas to me, says Wanda. I ordered the whole bundle plus extras. Karen says I've ordered two of the paper pads. Gorgeous. I had to order from this set, says Debbie Tomlinson. So, so beautiful. And Kathy Lear just saying, I love this collection, Sarah. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to purchase all the items and not cutting out anything from the collection. The versatility of this collection is off the charts. And remember, if you do want to order uh, individuals and make up your own bundle, uh, spend £40 or $40, save an extra five. 5% um, off the bundle. If I said 10 earlier on, minus 6, 5% uh, you can say if you uh, pick and choose, make up your own bundles. But listen, if budget stretches today, you've got to get this value for money wise. It is amazing. Look at all of this. Oh, oh, a, I only wanted an embossing folder. Eh? I'm going through all this. I'm only getting myself. I thought I'd have a bit play with them embossing folders. Ben. Oh, so why not? This one here. Let's have, look at how these work, right? You can get this lovely big one. We could either go onto the corner. Yeah, let's do that, right? So watch this. We can go onto the corner with this one. Yeah. If I'm sending it through my um, Gemini Mini, all you're going to do is add your purple one onto the bottom, uh -huh. right? And then you're going to send that through that side. Gemini right. Minis are getting got a uh, good deal this week as well, by the way, if you haven't got one. Great Hello. deal on that on I the website. I didn't know that. Yes, you get the storage bag months. free. Right. And the deal and is there's uh, the other this side. Week. And then straight through with the other side. And look at that, I end up with a two sides of embossed cardstock. And that is ready to go just onto the base of there. Isn't that nice? Just a little bit different. Yeah. All right. So there's my embossed panel to go at the edges using some of those other pieces. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you that I think is absolutely brilliant, right? Use your scraps of card. And then that set, which is your snow globe, also has these bits and pieces on, right? So this is if you want to make your own 3D bow, right? So you need this little piece here as well. And watch what we're going to do. We're going to take our, our uh, mini, and it works just beautifully through this small size. And I'm going to go with my wide piece, little piece here, add that on there close it all up just make sure they don't go over top of each other while they're in the machine Ben that's the bit you need to watch out for yeah and um, but these little balls you could be adding to all of your cards because they only take a few seconds so can you see we're going to cut that out then once I take all these pieces off this here so can you see I'm just bending them like this 
Right, you can tell I'm having a week off today, guys. My uh, me nails aren't done enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, here we go. So I'm just bending this over. So can you see that bit sticks in the inside? Yeah. That bit sticks in the inside as well. The piece that we cut up from the middle, you're just going to stick tape on that, Ben, from both sides. Okay. That goes over the middle here, and then uh, they wrap around the edges. Hey. So one and then two there. Yeah. Right? Then this piece on the bottom, I'm going to take that up. And then there is my whole little bow. That's pretty clever. Wait, isn't that just nice? Yeah. It just adds on lovely, right? So if I'm going down the side of the card, let's go with, oh, look, I've got another lovely embossing folder in this set here. I do love this one. I like too. how a lot of these go through the mini as well, because those will go through as well, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, super quick. And then watch if you need a longer piece, right? So what I can do is I can emboss that down there. I'll bring in the mini, and I can just whiz through this one. And then if you want to go longer, all you do is then layer that up over top of this piece. And then we'll go all the way through. Oh, no, miss me thing. Oh, yeah. yeah I wondered why it wasn't working. <laughs> uh, all the way through there like that, we'll emboss that last bit. So that literally, I mean, look at that. It was, it's seconds, Ben. It literally takes seconds. Your months. excitement about this collection is so adventurous. It's like, I can tell how excited you are about this. And I can tell how excited you guys are as well. We're talking a third of the stock has gone. We're 25 minutes into the show. We've got an hour and 35 to go. And already a third of the stock has gone. The domes are flying out on their own. The paper pads are out of here. Everything is so, so super busy uh, in this particular show. And I am not surprised. Like you said, I think people are just so happy that we've got like a second Christmas collection and it's oh. night and day compared to the um, Towards the Night Before Christmas. So if you've got that and you're getting this, you've, you've pretty much got everybody covered off, I think. You just want a bit of variety, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you do. You want to be able to do different stuff. So yeah. that's what I'm giving you, what you asked for. That's it. Right, here we go. Doesn't that look fab on there? In fact, I wonder if that's stuck really well or I could put an extra little bit of glue down there. Yes, that's going to stick beautifully well there. Yeah, and just, then... Just notice the little fox is hanging a bauble on the tree. Isn't he, isn't he lovely? He's so cute. <laughs> Let's have a look. So if I fold this over here, yeah. what I am going to do is just again a little bit onto here and I've got my base snowflake, then my top little snowflake. Now I'm only going with the glue gun here for speed, guys. You won't be having to go at the pace of knots like me. Look at that, doesn't that look fab? That is great. And then I've got a tiny little bit, tiny little gem that should just drop in the centre there and finish that off nicely. And then bear in mind, because you've got all your sentiments, I've already stamped this one, but I've just got winter wishes. So I'm going to go winter wishes with a couple of bits of uh, foam pads along the back, Ben. And that card... Now, this is what I'm calling the cheat watercolour, right? I'm cheating because I've used what's in the paper pad. Well, that's all right. my watercolour toppers, right? A little bit later on in the show, I'll do some where we'll watercolour our own toppers. Yeah. I just wanted you to see how the how everything basically starts to work together. Now, I'm just going to warn you now, guys, right? The next card I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you all how to do the snow globes. Oh, come on, here right. we go. So give me a couple of minutes, or if it's one of them ones, I've got to just tidy down a second, Ben. Yeah. So if you're in between, you've got about two minutes if you want to go and check it out and get back before I start the snow globe demonstration. But I'm just going to warn you now, as soon as I've completed that snow globe demonstration, the snow globes will go like that. So don't say I didn't warn everybody. Let me just tell you as well, it's two minutes since I gave you the last stock update. We were at 33%, we're now at 35%. So another 2% of stock has gone in the last two minutes. If it keeps going at that rate, you can do the maths and you can see that this is going to go. You've got to be in it we are so so busy for this right now this is supposed to be back on seconds chance sunday at this rate you have got no chance poor old becky is with us on sunday she ain't gonna be seeing it she ain't gonna be seeing it uh tell me what you're getting i mean loads of you are ordering right now tracy says i love the new collection i've just chosen a few things today the paper pad great choice the snow falling embossing folder love that uh, the new watercolor markers as well uh, i'm sure sarah will talk me into more absolutely she will as we always say we're the enablers here we're not going to talk 
you out of anything. You need this collection. Uh, Debbie says, oh, I had to order from this set. It is so, so beautiful. Frida, picked and ordered. Thank you for the discount. Uh, that has helped me order the snowman. Yippee! Uh, and Aisha saying, Speedy Sarah is at it again. She makes it look so easy. The point is, again, though, she is speeding through. You can tell how, excitement, uh, how excited she is with this collection. But the, uh, the product makes it easy for you to speed through. It makes it easy for you uh, to get crafting because there's so much. Honestly, in this collection, I know the bundles that we bring you normally um, are just jam-packed full of craftability. Uh, but this one, there is so much. I just wanted to show you the pattern paper pad once again because this is proving so popular on its own. I love the fact uh, that you've seen some of these little characters on that last card there from Sarah that you can simply just pop out of your paper pad, create your own scenes with these as well. Um, I just think it is phenomenal that you're getting all these pages uh, here again, you've got these little um, uh, ribbons. You've got the ability to snip in. And you've got your toppers included in there as well. Uh, these, by the way, say, let it snow, Merry Christmas, uh, sent with love. And then again, four little cards straight away there with these beautiful toppers. And the designs on here are absolutely stunning. Again, look at this, the snowman. So many of you have commented about how cute that snowman is. The artwork is just simply beautiful. Again, gorgeous wreaths here with some really lovely Christmas messaging on. And then as we go through and take a look at all of the glorious papers that you're getting within this. I mean, look at that one. Look at the way it draws the eye in. Great for your scrapbooking, uh, great for your frames as well. These are absolutely phenomenal. And of course, you've got the foiled accents in here as well. Look at those gorgeous snowflakes uh, in this set. This is the one that we were looking at just a few moments ago as well. I mean, the artwork there is just phenomenal. You almost just want to stick a frame around that and whack it on the wall. But as we go through, this is the reason why you need to, uh, I think, get at least another one of these paper pads because, as we say, there's no B-sides in this. I mean, come on, how beautiful is that with those little birds uh, and the gorgeous snowflakes there? Um, you're going to struggle to choose which side to use, so do yourself a favour and add at least another one of these uh, into your basket so that you've got plenty to be playing with. Just stunning. It's $15.99 is the platinum price on this, or $18.36. Um, get it whilst it's here. The paper pads on their own are absolutely flying out of the door. Uh, you're going to get 36 sheets within this particular collection. Uh, and as I said, $15.99 or $18.36. Uh, the uh, acetate domes as well, proving really popular um, on their own. Right, get this, right? 40% of the stock has gone already 40 percent i just think again the craftability with these is amazing uh, for the fact that yes you can make some absolutely gorgeous cards with your shakers whether you're going to be using the faux snow that you'll get within the collection uh, whether you're going to be using some uh, sequins in there whether you're going to use that chunky glitter which we're giving you as well or like we've said how amazing to take these um, domes and create your own baubles your own christmas ornaments this year as well I think it's amazing, isn't it? When you think about Christmas time, the lead up to Christmas, how excited the kids and the grandkids get, this is the kind of kit, again, uh, that you can get them crafting with. You can get them working with before Christmas time. Create your own Christmas ornaments this year, your own Christmas bubbles. I think that's brilliant. But if you do want to get them, you're going to have to be quick. £7.99 or $10.36 platinum price on this. But remember, 40% of those have gone individually. If you want to get the full set, you will get everything that we've talked about. It is absolutely massive stamp and die sets, uh, sentiment stamps, you've got in here uh, paper pads, you've got your cardstock, you've got your vellum, you've got your acetate, you've got your glitter, you've got your uh, faux snow in there, you've got your pens in there as well, brand new pens included in this collection as well. Um, it is simply, I think, one of the best collections we've done, value for money wise, amazing. I mean, seriously, Everything that could have been in this collection is here right now. You can take it home today for £131.99 if you're a Platinum member, $169.56 if you're shopping with us in the US. But bear in mind, where are we now stock-wise on this, Johnny? We are almost at 40% of the stock gone. We're 33 minutes into the show. Please, whatever you do, do not miss out. Get what it is that you want now, and then you can sit back and relax and enjoy uh, the rest of the demos coming up with Sarah. We are so, so super busy uh, right now. Let us get back to another demo, because I know that's what you want to see. So, Sarah, are we looking at the snow globe next? Come on, I'm going to show you the snow globe now. It may be my only snow globe. In fact, let's face it, it's probably going to be the only snow globe I'm going to get 
to show you, <laughs> right? And, and what I will say is you get, if you're going for the complete collection, you get 20 of the snow globes in the pack. If you think you're going to be doing a lot of cards like this, then what you're going to do is you're going to want to get more than just 20 of the snow globes, okay? So this is what we're making. We're going to make this card here, and uh, like I said, 20 snow globes in the pack, but you might want to get extras. So, if you're doing this card here, what we're going to do first of all is start with the base of the card, okay? So, that base card, I've just taken a sheet of A4, folded in half, and then working from the 12 by 12 pad, I've just taken one of the base pieces here. Now, look, if we were to use that straight on the base, I mean, that's a pretty nice card, isn't it? Yeah. But then if you look, the whole idea is these cardstocks, okay, if you want to mat and layer them, look how it will bring out the reds in there. Or if you want to put it onto a dark Ooh, base, yeah. it really deepens the colour. Mm -hmm. uh, onto the pale one, it's going to bring out all of these colours here. And then onto the silver, it's just going to have a beautiful neutral background. So it just shows you these colours in this pad don't happen by accident. It's all part of a kind of carefully selected and curated, um, which is full on collection of, yeah. of giving you. This is the difference, you see. Yes, you'll have cardstock at home, absolutely. However, if you do stretch to get the pearlescent pad that goes with it, now you can see why everything is working so well. Yeah. So I'm just using the all purpose, Ben, to stick that down all over the background. And notice I'm not putting too much on, but I'm getting it all over. Yeah. And then when I put it down, I'm giving it the maneuverability factor. Let it wiggle. To then, so that I get glue all over, but not too thick in any one place, and then just push down around the sides. So that will mean that your card doesn't bobble, but it's got nice strength and rigidity on the front, okay? Now, what I'm gonna then do is use a little bit of that red with the snow globe die. So can you see, this is the outer snow globe die, and if you're doing a card base, you would use that. If you want the hole for the snow globe, you're going to use these two together. Uh -huh. So what I'll do, Ben, is I'll just show you, if I was going to be running these through my Gemini, I would be using my magnetic to hold these into place. So it holds that one, it pops this one exactly in the centre, yeah. so you can see it's all laid up, pop this in place, pop your top plate on, and then it's ready to go straight through your machine like that. So that's how you get... The, um, if you want to use it to hold that die exactly in place for the centerpiece. Now, that die in the center as well, it's also handy. Bear in mind, you can use that. So this is the bit we need, right? Now this, by the way, at the top, you do need to trim off. And the reason we haven't trimmed it is if you're doing an actual card base, Got you. that's your fold for your card base, yep. right? So this piece here, it's just excess card you can use now. But if you wanted to cut, like for example, a piece of acetate or anything, you could do it with the same size piece to go in the middle. So what I'm gonna do first of all though, is I'm bringing in one of the snow globes. Okay. So your pack of 20, you're gonna get one of them out. Now here's what I'm gonna do, Ben, all the way around with my straight tape pen. Uh -huh. And look, I'm going really close to the edge here. So your straight tape pen is more than adequate sticky-wise to hold it down, but you want to go right towards the edge, and then we just lift this over there here like that. Want that nicely laid down in place, and then once we're down here, can you see I'm getting that really well stuck? So yes. that gives me that 3D snow globe effect now. Fab. Right? So that is going to go onto the front of the card. What I thought we'd do is, is I've also got a little bit of this, so I'm going to pop that behind and we can create our own winter scene in the middle, right? So here's what I'm going to do. You've got there, these trees are wonderful, right? So all I'm going to do, Ben, is show you how we can cut some of these out to go underneath our little snow globe. Half of the stock of the domes have gone on their own, Sarah. 50% <laughs> of the stock has gone. Guys, if you're watching this back on a repeat, I'm just going to say now, the domes were lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we love the domes? The domes were lovely. So, uh, right, let's have a look. I'm going to have one tree. And then, oh, should we have one of the other ones as well? Oh, yeah. And use this one here. See how quick and easy it is, though, when you've got all the... I mean, these are scraps. These are literally scraps of card that I've kept yeah. that I know will be perfect to lift this together. So I'm just getting a couple of my little trees. Oh, I might as well go whole hog and have the third one as well. Might as well get in there. Right. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's it. Tree trees. Um, right, so there's my third little tree. And again, if you're just using all your scraps up, 
You could be doing these with any. I'm going to do it with a little bit of the turquoise now. Okay. Um, I'm saying turquoise. It's like a lovely aqua colour, so isn't like it? So like a, yeah, aqua yeah. baby bluey. Really lovely shade, this one. Right? So, watch what I'm going to do here. I've got my little trees in the background. Yeah. And I'm going to build up the scene on the base of here. Okay. So I'm going to go one down the back. We've got a nice big tree there. Then I've got another one here. Uh, right. And then I'm going to put another one in the middle here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick. So there's my trees in the middle. Yeah. But then I'm going to um, cement that. I've done a circle of the acetate as well. Oh, now, pretty. Must tell you this, right? The acetate is construction acetate so it's super strong right and also it looks a little bit cloudy looks like it's not very clean right uh -huh. that's because it's got a base on the outside so let's have a little look can you see if you just i always use my pokey tool uh, to peel that off okay. can you see let's put that on the bit can you see this side all cloudy not very nice this side beautifully clear yeah right you want the beautifully clear side so you want to peel off that backing. Look how much nicer that looks there now. Oh, yes. And again, if I just go all the way around the outside, this is all going to get covered with that dome. What I want is a bit of a scene in the background with the snow on, and then I want another bit of a scene in the foreground. I'm, I'm really going for it on this one, not going to lie. Okay, see, so we've got the scene in the background. We could have used one of the bits from the papers, it, you know, one of the paper sheets, but I'm going to put that on there. But inside Ooh, yeah. there, I'm going to bring a couple of bits now in your six by six pad. Here we go, right? In the back here, look, you've got like little snowman, little foot. And so these are all ready to pop out. Okay. You get three sheets of each one of these, Ben, loads of designs that you can go at. So I've got my snowman and I'm going to get uh, the little present on here as well. Yeah. You could have got a little tree if you want. Could have wanted a little tree on there as well. Is that going to be a bit too much? I think it's going to be too much with me trees in the background. So we'll just get these two, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the snowman sitting in front of the tree. So they're all behind the acetate. Yeah. These are in front. And I'm going to get these. I'm going to, I'm going to go a little bit layered up, 3D'd up with these. Wow, okay. So a couple of little foam pads. I love how you're watching so intently and you're just like, what's she doing here? Well, I just, I, you just, I, well, I don't know, you've done far much, far more with this than I thought you were going to do. Yeah. Like with the layer of the acetate on there, and now adding even more depth and dimension, and obviously you've still got your, uh, your bits and pieces to pop in your, uh, to pop in your globe as well. So there's all that. Now, when it comes to bits and pieces in what, your globe, you've got two choices, What are you going right? to go for? I'm going to go for the chunky glitter. Oh, yeah. So you've got chunky glitter, or you've got four snow, yeah. right? Your four snow, I'll show you some at the end, your four snow looks just as good, right? But your chunky glitter also <laughs> looks awesome, chunky right? Chunky glitter. Chunky glitter Why and I? four snow. Right, look you, look how much I'm putting on, right? If you're gonna be a tight, chunky glitter user, <laughs> yeah. right, you're gonna buy two or three boxes you now, got to, right? You got to. Please, guys, don't be a, don't be a tight, chunky glitter user. Just bear in mind, <laughs> your dome's going over the top, so we need plenty of it. Yeah. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push me, okay? I'm going to try and go all the way around with me um, oh, hot glue gun. Okay. Just to make sure it sticks really, really well, right? So all the way around with your hot glue, plenty of it on, and then that goes straight over and just seals all in there. Yes, right. Nicely sealed up. Yes, now that, look at all that stuff. So this is why you're not going to be a tight 3D no, glitter user, you've right? you've got to go all in. And we've sealed it. Now, I haven't got quite, that, quite lined up in the middle. No one's going to see the back. No one's going to see the back because we're going to stick it down. So I'm just going to trim that bit off the edge there. Nobody needs to see that. We are live on TV, folks. So there you go. Looks pretty perfect from the front. Now, that's, your, that's how you do yourself a dome-fronted card, right? Yeah. Then what you've got... On the rest of these pieces, Ben, you can be cutting out all these little elements. So can you see that one there cuts out this part here. Okay. So I can just layer that up and that goes over this, this edge here like this. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, you've got, on got this little... one, you've got the little bow again. Yeah, yeah. Right? So for anyone who missed the little bow, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the section. So we've got the base bow, we've got the bottom here, and then we've also got the little tab that goes up the middle. So first thing you do is you shape these round your fingers, right? So the more you shape them, the less likely they are to put like a bit of a um, crease in. 
So we don't want the crease, we want the shape. And can you see it's like a cup shape now? Like a little bra. Right? Like a little what? Like a little bra. You a know, little bra? You know, what girls wear. I know what, I know, I know, yes, I know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't, didn't look like a little bra there for a second, right? <laughs> Here we go, right, there we go. Now it looks like a dicky bow. It does look like a dicky bow now. Now it looks like a dicky bow. That's gonna go up the middle here. And then this wraps round yeah. this part here. This is the bit that makes it, I always think, look really professional when you wrap that round like that, right? And then I'm gonna go in, I like that 3D. Uh, I like the glue gun, just for speed. Before you go as well off this demo, a few people asking the diameter of the globe. I, uh, someone asked earlier on the depth of it, didn't they, Johnny? Did we find it was about an inch? Well, I think someone asked how deep is the dome. It was Evelyn. It was an inch deep, I think. We'll, right. But we'll manage the, the diameter in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that looks about an inch deep to me, folks. Right. And then I can give you the exact height. Okay. So it is five and a half inches yeah. by five inches wide. Right. Yep. Good out. Right, so there's our little bit, snow globe. Right, so snow globe, let's just make, make way, guys. Let's bring the card back in. You don't need to see all the mess that's going on around here. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what else we've got. See that bit there? That the, makes the top piece. Well, for hanging it. For hanging it, if it was a bauble. Yeah. Right? Fab. Ornament, as you guys in the US say. So uh, we can put our little hanging ornament piece on. Now you're talking. That's going to go on the front there. So you've got either your, um, you could be using your all purpose, you could be using your hot glue gun again if you want. But that's going to go all on the base there. Give me that little bit of manoeuvrability time. I'm going to pop me little bow on the corner because I do like it over there like that. I think if you get these, you've got to make some Christmas ornaments as well. Baubles oh, are the way forward for me with these. Got to, haven't you? Absolutely and then, right. You know, in the back of the paper pad, yeah. you've got them uh, oh, these the, here, yes. right? So the little ribbons, and what I like to do is again just shape them round, and then they can go over the base of your card. Okay. So again, I'm just going to go a little bit down there. And I'm just going for speed here. Uh, a little bit down there like that. Stick that down. And then I have used, you see, it doesn't matter, because this is an inch high, it doesn't matter that that's a little bit higher. Yeah. And then I've used the stamps and I've stamped out holidays and happy. So you've got on there, happy holidays. And again, I'm just going to lift them up. Maybe it's one of my little 3D. Look at this. It's always about having the right glue for the job, isn't it? That's it. I've done a little bit of a mix of everything on this one. And a lot of you, again, commenting about how much you love these um, domes. Absolutely, you need to be getting them because over half of the stock has gone now and you'll just stock up on them because, I mean, great for making these shaker cards, great for making your Christmas ornaments as well, but not just Christmas time. A lot of people were chatting earlier on about using these in conjunction with like your, um, you know, if you want to create sort of uh, sea themes with these as well, I think these would be absolutely brilliant for that, but you'll use them in all sorts um, of craft, but yeah, working along with this collection is just phenomenal. Look at that, Sarah, that's amazing. I'm quite, quite pleased with that, that's yes. turned out. Not that I didn't know, because it looks exactly like the one I planned to show you, but... There's something about doing it live, back to front, upside down for the TV, and it, I still think that's come together beautifully. That is why you need the snow globes. Now, that is one snow globe. Are you ready? What about doing your snow globe on the front of a box? Oh, come on. With a 3D. Yes. Can you see it's got the whole 3D piece in there. We've got uh, ones on the front of cards here, where yep. we've used the four snow inside with the watercolour background. Wonderful. Um, I've got this one here using some of the beautiful back and papers with that let it snow in the snow globe so you can see again nicely mounted you've got your 3D snow globe there or if you wanted to just do the whole front of your snow globe that's been done and that's then you can see so through the cute. embossing folder isn't that great I honestly honestly I I love this collection so much and you're like he's excited about every collection I know I am that's the point uh, I just love this for the fact that we're giving you the faux snow in here the fact that we're giving you your chunky glitter in here as well and these domes these are brilliant you've got to get these honestly you're going to get 20 within each pack so you get 20 within the collection but come on you now know now you've seen the demo we saw now you've seen a few more of those finished samples that you're going to be using these until the cows come home so you've got to grab more um, but if you want to grab them individually we are well over half of the stock has gone right now you can get them individually for seven pounds 99 if you're platinum ten dollars 36 
as well. But yeah, you know, normally we tell you with these kits to add more paper pads. This time I'm going to tell you to add more paper pads, definitely. But add these bad boys in as well, because they are going to go. And the craftability with these, I just think, is amazing. And I love the idea of making your own Christmas ornaments and Christmas baubles this year as well. You've got to do it. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, OK, so 50% of the, um, the domes have gone. What about the stock? 40% of the full collection has gone. Uh, in producer Johnny's words, uh-oh, he just said, this is worth over 200 pounds. It's worth over $265. If you are uh, shopping with us today, everyone is saving 42.78. You've got your gorgeous pearlescent paper in there as well. You've got your 12 by 12, your six by six acetate, vellum. You've got your faux snow in there. You've got glitter. You've got your domes in there. You've got, as well, brand new pens in there too uh you've got stamp and die sets embossing folders more stamps more dies seriously you've got your 3d toppers included in there as well this is a collection that is just going to go on and on and on and on and again like we said how different is this to the was the night before christmas um, collection that we brought you uh, last week so so different night and day so if you've got these two collections boy oh boy have you got everybody ticked off for this Christmas and indeed the Christmases to come. The only thing I would suggest that you do is to make sure you stock up on your paper pads, stock up on those domes as well, add more into your carts, and then you've got a collection that you're gonna come back to time and time and time again. There's so many of you shopping with us right now, and this always happens on these big launch shows, is that people uh, fill up their carts and then they don't check out because they don't want to miss anything. And particularly uh, when Sarah is in such an excitable mood today, in such a creative mood, you definitely don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to tell you right now, you will miss nothing. We're going to give you two minutes to get those baskets and carts checked out. Make sure you do it because this is super busy, one of the busiest launches I think we've done in a long, long time. So get your baskets checked out and we'll come back to you in two minutes time with some more demos. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. You know, I said we were at 40% of the stocks gone. We've literally just had uh, the <laughs> busiest time ever. If you can imagine, like in, in a store, everyone's literally just grabbed their trolleys 
and dashed to the checkout and it's been beep, 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 beep. 45% of the stock's now gone. We are so, so busy. And for those of you that are asking with this already, people are going, well, I've got it now. I'm waiting for it. When's the craft along? 22nd of August. So again, another reason to shop and buy with us because not only are you getting all the inspiration today, but you can mark it on your calendar now. You've got the kit, 27th of August. There'll be a craft along a few days before. We'll tell you exactly what you'll need from the kit, what we're going to be making. And you've got a free two hour tutorial to go with this collection as well, adding even more value for money uh, for this collection you guys are absolutely loving the domes as well there's so much chat about the domes coming in um, Eleanor just saying what about making a snow globe with the gnomes inside of them a gnome dome amazing a gnome dome uh, Christine Roy saying those snow globes would be great for pictures of the kiddos with Santa for grandparents gifts as well I absolutely love that idea you see you guys already the ideas are flowing the creative juices are flowing that's why you need to keep checking out those baskets talking about ideas flowing let's get back over to Sarah for demo number three where are we going next okay so we've done what I was calling the cheat watercolor yeah where you just use the ones out of the pad now we're actually going to do some watercoloring so remember you are getting nine brand new colors in our aqua blend pens love it mixed into three aqua tri blends right which I just think are absolutely genius I mean I would do three pens in one pen <laughs> my idea so genius. I'm taking that right there, I'm a genius. right so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to start off and I'm going to stamp out one of these now if you're doing watercoloring guys you need two things first of all you need well we'll need a stamp on first yes. but you need a waterproof ink pad okay so the one that's got the water brush on the back it's a waterproof it's not water based waterproof and you need a bit of watercolor cardstock because the, the inks will move a lot easier on it. So watch how nice and crisp these stamp up, okay? Mm -hmm. So just lots of light tapping, and then we turn it over, and we're gonna stamp these down straight onto there, and we're gonna get that lovely watercolor effect, okay? He's fab, that's now, man. Now, just before we go, Ben, I'm yep. gonna just show you the colors in these pens, right? So this one here is Woodland Brown, Russet Orange, and Winter Rose. So you've got the brown, You've got the orange and you've got the winter rose in here. But I, what I wanted you to see is when we add a little bit of water to them, yeah. right? They watercolour a long way. Oh, hang on, I've got a, bit, a little bit too much water on here, right? Going to watercolour that a long way. We're going to do the same here. We're going to watercolour this down. Now I haven't quite got enough on. Going to watercolour this down a long way, Ben, so yeah. that you can see how that blends right out lovely and then also the same with the pink one and these are all designed to be able to work together can you see how that i've let that dry a little bit so you, do, you don't want to let it dry is the moral of the story okay. right there's your first three colors uh -huh. your second three you've got in there that is frosty blue oh then you've got your gray one in which is going to give you all of your shades for your red uh, for your snow yes. i'm going to teach you in just a second and again you're just going to water that down a little bit oh, just, do one at a time, Ben. Don't wait for them to dry in, okay. right? And then they'll and then they'll watercolor a little bit easier. But you can see the kind of colours yeah, that yeah, moving yeah. it. And then the red here. Look if I get that moving. Yay! Because that's the last one I've just done there, right? Then your last one. I'll do them one at a time. So there's your lovely deep blue, right? So again, yeah, there see, we, we get it watercoloring. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with my icy lake. A little bit of icy lake there. And then again, if we add a little bit of water to the icy lake, that's Ooh, nice. That's These beautiful. are all brand new colours, by the way, new, yeah. those of you who are collectors. Got to get them. You've got to get them if you want the new colours. Got to catch them all. Right. And then there's your, what was that one called? Deep glaze. Oh, you've got deep glaze here, yeah. icy lake and aspen green. Okay. Right? So there's all of your colours anyway, just to give you an idea. So once you've created yourself a little colour palette, Bring your snowman in, and I'm going to say, right, I love that icy lake in the middle. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add in a little bit of blue all along here and bring that down there. And then, now, by the way, this is the same. I've just stamped him straight here. However, those of you that maybe want to do a little bit of um, layering up, this is the same design if you want to take the, um, oh, the dye that's going to layer him up as well. Oh, the... Um the Builder Snowman. The Builder Snowman down. Uh, yeah. So look at that. I'm just, um, what's the word? I'm like, uh, interrogate. It's not interrogating. But like, what are you doing? You're not yeah, interrogating. I'm, I'm interrogating the blue here just to get it all moving <laughs> round, right? Because what I want is I want that real depth of shade. 
So I'm just dragging a little bit of that blue out yeah. and drag it right out there. So it's, it's, you've got that, um, what's the word? It's not interrogating. It's like, you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, Charlotte does, I don't. Charlotte does, yeah. She's not helping us with a word though, is she not? Uh, no, right? Right, and then I'm going to come in, where's that red, right? I'm going to come red along here. If you know what Sarah means, let us know in the comments. It's like, um, yeah. Does it actually begin with an I? It do, I'm sure it does. Infiltrating, no, Johnny says. No, infiltrating, That was nearly as a ridiculous word as interrogating. <laughs> no, it's like, um, you know, it's like uh, agitating type Agitating? Thing. Maybe it is agitating that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Agitate. Uh, Someone will know in the comments, Ben. Yes, look at that, you see. Look how I've got that lovely movement of colour under there, yeah. right? And then I'm going to, right, here's what we're going to do. If you just want where it's um, snowy. Yeah. All you do is you put a little bit of the blue down, yeah. right? And I'm going to bring the blue down here again. And then I'm going to bring it right along here too. And then you get this moving. So plenty of water on there. And you're just going to move all that around with it. Now, this is why you want your watercolour card. Because your watercolour card makes it a lot easier to move with. It's not going to grab as fast in there, right? So we've just got like a little bit of snow effect on there. And again, I need to be a little bit quicker. Now, look at this, though. I can go and just paint straight in with them. So I want to paint his nose. Consider the nose painted. Want to paint his hat. Let's go with that lovely, yeah. Uh, let's go with this lovely shade here. Let's paint his hat. We've got a buy to get one free deal on watercolour cards, by the way. Um, oh, nice. Currently. 45 sheets. Integrate. No. Says Laura Simmons. No. Oh, I think it is whatever I just said it was. Agitate. Agitate. I think yeah, I was I think you're right, the actually. Colour. Agitating yeah. it. So look at this. Even if you just want to colour straight on with them, Ben, you don't want a watercolour. Yeah. They're beautiful pens just to colour with, right? So look at that. There's our little snowman, okay? But you know what he needs? He needs to look like a real snowman. All oh, right, yes. He needs to come to life. Yes. You know what's going to bring him to life? What's going to bring him to life? Full snow. Full snow, full show. Full snow. snow. Whoop. Right, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to get him there. I'm going to get a little bit of tacky glue. Yeah. She says, where have I put my tacky glue? Can I have and a I feel of the snow in a minute? I've never actually... I, the faux yeah. snow's always gone whenever oh, I... When um, you've had it. Yeah, you yeah. can have a little bit of a feel. Can I? Let's have a little look. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put snow around the bottom here. Yeah. Right? Don't put too much glue because you don't want to be waiting ages for the glue to dry, right? So I've got snow on the bottom. Let's have snow on his hat like this, oh, yeah. right? So you put snow all around here. And what you can do if you want it to look really thick is you can do multiple layers of the snow as well. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. So then I put snow on his bobble. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it, right? And then all you do, Ben, are you watching this? You open this up, right? Ooh. And just dip it in. Just dunk it. What are you right? putting there? You put the card in, have you? Just put the whole card in. Oh, okay. Look at that. Then I haven't got more <laughs> snow everywhere. And then I just clean the whole thing up, right? Yeah. And then we can just get a little bit of the air out, and then we're ready to go. So look at that. No force. I haven't actually canted. I haven't got it all over. It's literally ready to go. In that fab. I love that. Dunked so, it. So dunk it in rather dunk than just in. getting it all over the place. Dunk it in. Ready to go. Give it a dunk. Right. And then look, I'm just going to. Put a little bit, I'm going to double matte and layer this. So it's going to go onto the red, and then I've got a little bit of blue for it to go onto the blue as well. In fact, what I might do is I might mount that red onto the blue first. Yeah, right. So red onto the blue, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this on here, and I'm going to mount that. So there's our topper ready to go. Yeah. So now we've done our own watercolour topper. All we need to do is we need to create a base card to put our topper on. Brilliant. So that can be over there drying. While we do the rest of the card, isn't that cute? I absolutely love it. There's nice. Been so much chat about the um, the snowman, and yet yeah, now you can use the faux snow to make your snowman even more realistic. I absolutely love this. Uh, loads of you just telling me that you're checking out your baskets as well. Sandy's the uh, most recent one. Just saying this morning, I purchased the entire collection with extra paper, acetate, vellum, chunky glitter. Just placed another order. Uh, this collection really speaks to me. I can't wait to get it all. So uh, get it whilst it's here. It is absolutely flying out of the door. The most comprehensive, uh, complete collection that we've got. Yes, and we don't restock signature collections either, do we as well? So, you know, once nope. this is uh, gone, it's gone. It's gone. So and there's been a bit of a theme with signature collections this year, Ben. Yeah. They just seem to be getting more and more and more and more and more and more popular as we've gone. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just think 
they keep getting better and better and better and better as well. well we are under pressure for them to get better, oh. but also we have more people kind of discover Practice yeah. Companion yeah. every month. Yeah. So, um, and I think we probably don't account for that when we do our ordering. It just kind of, it after a while we'll go, oh, there's three ranges we've sold out of within the first week. Yeah. Maybe we need to order more next time. But it does take us a little while to have that realization. You'd think we'd have learned by now, folks, wouldn't you? Well, you would have. Thought. The, the, the other thing to say as well is the fact that you guys will be noticing how these collections just get better and better and bigger and bigger. And that's got to be exciting for you guys as well to think like down the line. Because you know what? When a collection like this gets released, the next one's got to be better, hasn't it? You know, we, we've got to kind of go bigger, go better. Uh, so it's Brilliant. exciting for you guys as well to think what on earth could be down the line in the next collection. You know, what might we be doing in a year's time, in a couple of years' time? It's really, really exciting. Uh, when we're bringing you collections like this. I mean, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. It's brilliant. Love it. Right. So, all held in place. I don't think. I think that might be a bit too big to go through me mini. Oh, yeah, just about. Ooh, it's all okay. right, though. It's, the die itself would fit through. It's because I've used all of the... Um, I've put it on a fold so that I can stick it onto the side of my card, right? So the die itself is less than three inches. It's going to go lovely. But you see, I had that fold line in place, Ben. And I, oh, oh, should we add a bit of force snow onto this as well? Yes, please. Right, so, good tip here as well, right? So if I just lift you off there. That's brilliant. There's that piece there. And I quite like that it has this little bit in the middle too. I'll tidy that all up in a second, right? So that is going to go over the edge of the card here. Uh -huh. But if we want to put a bit of force snow, watch this, let's get me thin red liner. And then I'm going to go with the thin red liner right down the middle here right and that will just add a lovely bit of glitter onto the edge there so thin red liner and then really well stuck and then straight back out and back into me four snow that that trick of dipping it in the bag ben yeah honestly life-changing <laughs> life-changing when it comes to the tidying up yeah and look you just dip half in and you're going right to use a lot less that way as well, aren't you? It's going to go a lot further. You're, got, you're not going to waste it. Yeah. So look at that. I've got a lovely line of four snow on there. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. And then this here, I'm going to stick a tape pin all down the edge here. And that is going to just go over the edge. And if you cut that twice, stick it together, you've got yourself a nice little Christmas ornament there as well, haven't you, if you wanted. Yeah, that's or stick the them idea. in your windows. Oh, it's lovely, that. And actually... I want it to look 3D, so I'm just going to put a couple of little foam pads oh, yes. onto these parts here. The very, th very thin, fine ones, so that you don't really notice them, Ben. But they're just going to go behind these sections here. Okay. And then I'm going to lift them off so that the whole thing looks quite 3D on the back there. Right? So there's that part there. Oh, you aren't stuck quite where I want you. There you go. And then we're ready to go with our topper. So our topper should be just about dry by then. Yes, it is, but to be on the safe side, I think I'll glue gun it on so that it doesn't doesn't move. So a little bit down there, a little bit down here, and then that's just going to go on the front. And then you can do whatever you want. So I've got here, I've just stamped out the sentiment Winter Wonderland. Okay. And I'll just stick that on the corner too. There we go. So there's card number three, rocking through there. And what I love is, Ben, it is so different to all the other ones that we've done. Oh, absolutely right. Because it's, it's going to look massively different because, because the collection's kind of so versatile. So that one now is your watercolour effect one. Fan. Totally different Fantastic. look to the others. Yeah, I love it. Winter Wonderland. There's no business like snow business. And uh, this collection is absolutely flying. Let's say half the stock is gone now because that is where we are halfway through the show. Half the stock is gone. What are you waiting for? If you can't afford to go for the main bundle today, don't forget you can make up your own smaller bundles as well. Uh, spend £40 or $40, seven extra 5%. But loads of you are going for the full bundle, adding in more of those domes, adding more of the, um, the paper as well. It is such a massive bundle. Look at it, it's huge. It is absolutely huge. And let's just show you again uh, exactly what you are going to be getting if you're gonna go for the full collection. It's brilliant. We've been featuring a lot um, the uh, elegant snow globe. So again, what we love with this is the fact that you've got all of the elements there to be able to create these beautiful snow globe cards and then the additional elements to be able to create little bows should you want to. You know, If you wanna make actual ornaments out of these as well, you've got the elements to be able to do that too. Uh, and then of course, as you can see here, you're gonna 
get those um, domes included 20 of those but as I've said so many of you are already popping those into your baskets as extras as well embossing folders where it's 60 percent 60% of the domes have gone. They're going to sell out before the end of the show at this rate. Embossing folders in there. You've got uh, your 8 by 8 embossing folder, your um, delicate snowfall in there. You've also got uh, your little smaller embossing folders as well. So you've got that snowflake edges. You then got in there your um, elegant borders as well. So again, great news with these. If you want to use these through your mini, you've got the ability to do that as well. Absolutely, you have. Uh, then those beautiful quirky Christmas trees. So these were the ones that we saw just a few moments ago that um, Sarah was popping into the snow globe. She made that with the, uh, the snowman there. And again, I love the fact that within the dies itself, you've got the little uh, additions there. So if you want to color into those, stencil into those, you can. Can do then you've got that statement snowflake so that was the one that we saw just a second ago there with Sarah you know you can cut that use it as an edgeable like we just saw on the card there onto some acetate potentially or if you want to cut it twice look at that gorgeous use it as a Christmas uh, ornament uh, use it to decorate your windows at Christmas time it is entirely up to you you've then got your let it snow sentiment that one again brings you the actual die itself and then also the uh, the backing stuff it really stand off the page and then you've got some stamp sentiments with it as well which says let it snow let it snow let it snow uh, snowflake dimensionals in there they always say don't they that uh, there's never the same snowflake twice and we certainly show that within this bundle as well because again as well as the um uh, the uh, main snowflake you've got seven of these smaller snowflakes just to really bring your um, beautiful creations to life build a snowman do you want to build a snowman yes, I do. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I also want to put him in a snow globe with some four snow on, but we might be limited on doing that if you don't hurry up. Yeah, for show, sure. we will be limited <laughs> to doing that. All right, I'll get me one. Uh, build a snowman. So you've got your stamps and your dies to be able to build a snowman. Then beautiful stamps in here. So look at these. You've got your magical Christmas um, with the deer and the little bunny rabbits. We've also got in there the winter wonderland. There's the snowman you guys are chatting about and loving him. He's got little hedgehog friends, a little mouse, little robin. Uh, then you've got your joyful wishes. Again, how cute is that with the deer and the bunny, that little banner there to be able to pop in your own sentiment. You've also got your brush sentiments in there too, so you can create your own little sentiments. Uh, let it snow, Merry Christmas, seasons, greetings, winter wishes. Really, really gorgeous. Then on top of that, you've got all your consumables as well. Your 3D die cut toppers, they're included. You're gonna get 23 of those within this collection. Then on top of that, um, you've got your vellum, you've got your acetate in here as well. Uh, some of this is beautifully foiled as well, but take a look, you have got so much in here and again with the acetate you've got some of the thinner acetate within here but then as we get down towards the bottom as well uh, you've got that thicker uh, construction acetate included in there too so 12 sheets of each of that included within the bundle then we come on to your uh, luxury pearl card pad again this is stunning take a look at the gorgeous colors in here um, you've got your gorgeous red the blue in here as well by the way look at that it's almost like sort of um, chocolate box color isn't it then you've got your sort of uh, light sort of I don't know duck egg blue if you like baby blue and then the grays in there as well which really complement this uh, collection if you want to go for that individually by the way we are at 40% of the stock has gone then we move on to your patterned paper pad. I mean, this bundle just never ends. Half of the stock of this has gone, 36 sheets in total. Uh, remember, you've seen this a lot in our paper pads now that we're giving you four sheets at the back uh, that bring you these um, little die cut elements. So again, you can build up your own scenes with the snowman featured and the fox and the little hedgehog. It's absolutely gorgeous. But then as we go through, plenty of snippability with these little borders. You've then got you know four toppers there that you can snip into and work with right away. And then as we go through and look at the gorgeous papers within this collection like we said there are no b-sides here it's all double a that's why you absolutely need to add at least another one of these into your basket foiled accents in here i mean absolutely stunning watercolor effects that we've got in this collection i love the color palette you guys are loving it too please do not miss out on this but don't forget as well as getting all of these goodies that we've already shown you within the full bundle you're going to get 20 of those domes to to be able to create your shaker cards you're going to get this pad again in a six by six so it's going to replicate all of the designs that you've got uh, but just in a six by six size um, you've also got in there 
your uh, chunky glitter, that is included. You're also gonna get in the collection, your faux snow, that is included. You've got 50 grams of that in there as well. And don't forget, um, brand new, you're going to get uh, your collection of um, watercolor pens as well. This is, uh, what's this called? I think it's called Forest Green, Frozen Forest, I should say. Brand new colors, nine colors in there that you can do all of your water uh, watercolor effects with as well. If you're a collector, then you absolutely need to get this within the collection. And of course, as we said, this bundle is amazing value for money. However, if you just want to pick and choose, you just want to create your own mini bundle, spend £40 or $40, save an extra 5% uh, off your order. Right. What else have we got to show you? I can't remember where that goes. There it is. That one goes in there. 55% um, of the stock has now gone of the full collection. If you're looking to do stay there if you're looking to do uh, your um, uh, your watercolor projects you'll need your waterproof um, ink pads as well this is what Sarah was using just a few moments ago we've got a little bundle here which will give you uh, your four different colors so it's entirely up to you which one you want to go for but this one brings you your uh, noir black you've got flagstone in there rustic brown and your pebble so if you're going to be stamping out and doing those uh, watercolor effects then absolutely grab these add them into your basket for 13 pounds 57 platinum or 20 dollars 37 if you're shopping with us in the us as well i think I've covered off everything there. It's such a massive bundle that I do worry that I've missed something. But listen, the comments are flying in left, right, and centre. Uh, you guys are loving this collection as well. And don't forget, for those of you that are asking, 22nd of August is the date that you need to put in your diary for the craft along. So get this now. Uh, Debbie Robinson is going to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. well on that one. Oh, did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted. Yeah, well, she loves the faux snow, doesn't she? Oh, she loves the faux snow. I've got a funny feeling she's going to be loving the chunky glitter she as will. well. Uh, <laughs> very, very good Debbie impression right there, <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, but, yeah, keep the comments coming in. If you've just joined us, if you've just purchased, let me know what you've got in your basket. Have you gone the full hog? you gone the whole hog and got the collection and then added in more? I want to know about it. Have you made up your own mini bundle as well? Let me know what you've made. Uh, let, sorry, let me know what you've bought. Let me know what you've purchased to make up your own bundle also just to say um, for the Europe bundle a few of you asking about the Europe bundle so that is on the website for you uh, basically to do with um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for Import issues, with import Brexit. issues to with Brexit. Um, we can only ship out 150, uh, 150 euro bundles so basically what you'll need to do if you go to the website you can get the collection minus the pads all right that will be sent out to you and then you can add the pads in as a separate order it's just the way that we've had to do it. i think our hands are tied a little bit on that uh, but if you go to the website you'll be able to find out full details uh, as to how you can order uh, but listen so many of you chatting so many of you commenting let us get back to sarah as we are just shy of 60 i'm looking at the time here because i'm worried 60 percent of the stock has now gone let's get crafting i'll keep reading out your comments uh, Sarah, I, I, mean, oh, I mean, everything's fallen over. Chunky glitter's <laughs> so going to be gone, then. Chunky glitter's going to be gone. Uh, do you know what I want to know in the comments? Let me know in the comments, is this your favourite collection? Oh. I went round the office next door and asked how many of our staff next door this was their favourite collection, and there was quite a lot. Director Charlotte, it's her favourite collection that we've done. So uh, you let me know. I'm not allowed to have favourites. No. For all my children, I'm not allowed to pick a favourite. I do like this one. <laughs> uh, but you're not allowed to have favourites. But it's, it's the colour palette that very well speaks to me, OK? So I want to know if this is your favourite. I also want to know how many of the paper pads have you gone for? Because I know a lot of people have got a lot of paper pads. And what else have you been stocking up on the extras? Is it the acetate? Is it the four snow that you've been getting extras of? What is it, right? Just to say as well, Lynn's saying, Ben and Sarah, will you be keeping the domes in stock for future use? So we won't be keeping these because these are a Sarah signature, obviously, yeah. li li which is mean just limited edition. However, if they're this popular, we can absolutely look to do packs of the, th the 3D domes again, if that is something that you But don't are. wait. No, just order them now. Get them now. Yeah, just get them now. Uh, right. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, while Ben was chatting, I started the next demo oh. because all I've done is made the base box. Okay. Right. You've all seen me make a load of boxes. If not, go and watch Crafters TV. I've done box making show after box making show, and I've just edged it with some scraps of paper there as well. Right. So we're going to do the top. I'm going to do an easel card for the top of the box, Ben. I'm going to do a cheat watercolour, right? Love it. So what I'm going to do here, look, is I've made the box 
five and a half by six and a half, right? Five and a half by six and a half. Yep. So what I want to do is I want to trim this. Well, first of all, so what did I say it was tall? Let's get this in here and measure it, right? Uh, six and a half. So let's go with six and a quarter inches. So watch this, right? We go at six and a quarter, do the score line, right? And then fold that over. Give that a nice bit of a crease. Doesn't matter that it's not long enough. You'll see what I mean in just a second, right? Okay. Then with this one here, so it's six and a quarter. So half of that is three and an eighth, right? So what you do is you do three and an eighth. So that's the halfway point there. And I'm going to fold this again. And we've got that ready. So that's, that is the right way. That is going to give us the easel that way, right? And then widthwise, it was about five and a quarter. So I'm going to go to five inches wide. So all you do is you trim this to five inches wide and that is going to give us the base of our easel card. Now, what I thought we could do to be a little bit clever, Ben, is bring this in and put some snowfall oh, yes. onto the base of this one here, okay. right? So if I pop that into there, I want them just going off the edge. And do you know what I love about it is they'll kind of disappear off to nothing. Yeah. That's what we want. You know, we did. They just kind of they don't. The embossing doesn't stop. Yeah. It just disappears off to nothing, which is exactly what we want. Now, it's a regular folder, which means you're going to use your two pieces like this. We're going to go straight through, and we're going to emboss just that base section. Now, if you wanted to add some inks or whatever on here, you absolutely can do. I'm just going with a little bit. Look at that. I love that one. Can you see it so on there? It's quite it difficult to see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now you're talking, you see. Here comes so that Charlotte. is going to go onto the base of there yeah. and form the base of our easel card. So when you want to stick it really, really well, actually, we've got several options, haven't we, for glue on here? Uh, I think I might go all purpose. Okay. So I'm going to go all purpose and give it time to settle in to the embossed pieces. All right. So plenty of all purpose in the middle there. Maneuverability on the base here so that that is going to settle nicely in and give us some strength and rigidity on the base of the box ready to go right so there's going to be our base so now let's get the topper ready to go on the front so all i've done ben is i've got a little bit ready to go on the front and it doesn't matter that this is not halfway because it still stands up as a brilliant in fact it's it's probably a little bit better that it isn't and watch what i'm going to do so in this part right You've got all the lovely die cut pieces at the back. Yeah. Then you've got these, oh, which yes. I just love. So, which one do you fancy, Ben? Snowman? <laughs> which one? I hate what? you because well, you always ask me that you no, choose, I'm gonna choose ask something you, else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you pick. Go on, which one do you want? Hmm. Well, I think we, we've seen the snowman quite a lot. I right. quite like. Have we yeah. seen? I quite like the, like the little bunny. Like the little bunny, yeah. right? Are you going to do it? Well, that's good because look, I'd already cut the bunny out. Ah! <laughs> what you said. <laughs> Uh, I was going to cut one out there. Right, uh, now look at this. Look how plain it looks lucky. on the box, on the back, right? Lucky. Really plain. Look how much better it looks when we lay that up onto some of our base cardstock. Yeah. Now it really makes it Absolutely stand out, right? right? <laughs> so, but I'm going to go a little bit further. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my matting and layering. So that's when you're going to use your all-purpose. So I'm going to layer up the all-purpose onto here, all right? And then I'm going to do the same with this one on here. By the way, whilst you're gluing, loads of people saying that this is their favourite collection. You know you are. Yes. Uh, Mary says, absolutely, it's an awesome collection. Susan, my very favourite collection for Christmas. Definitely my favourite collection. I love Christmas, says Caroline. I love this collection, says Barbara. I think it will work so well with last year's glittering snowflakes as well. <gasps> Sorry, yes. you knocked it out of the park. Okay, can I make a really bold statement here, Ben? Oh, right. It's a promise. Yeah. When was the craft along? 22nd of August. 22nd, right? Even if we've had a complete sellout of this range mm. by the 22nd, mm -hmm. we will do a like a private sit and craft along or whatever. So that those of you who bought, because I hate doing shows when we've sold out of things, because yeah. then people who can't buy it get really annoyed. Yeah. But I'll make the commitment that we're going to do that craft along, irrespective, because the range is that gorgeous, and I think it will 
where's my four snow gone? Um, a chance to be sold at. The, the rate we're going at, this has been unprecedented today. So I'm going to make the commitment to you that we are absolutely going to be having that craft along. And uh, you guys, you know, there might be a, a little die bundle left or a little stamp bundle or something like that. Uh, there won't be a full collection left, I can almost guarantee you. Well, there you I, go. I will. There might not even be a full collection left by the end of today, folks. So if you're sitting on the fence thinking about it, yeah. you want to get off that fence pretty sharpish. Right, Dip it so in the bag. I'm dipping in the I bag. I still want to feel of that snow. Everything. Dip it in the bag. And then look, it just adds a little bit, doesn't it? It just gives a little bit of something. I just think it takes it to that next level, okay? Super cute. So that is going to go onto the base of here. So I think I'll use the um, all purpose again, just so that we get really good all over stick. Look at me, making cards to last today. Hello, seriously. Uh, I'm usually not that effective, am I not? Uh, right, here we go. So that's going to go on the base of there. Actually, I think I might just move you down a little bit to there. Yes, right, there we go. So if we do that, we just need to rub. This is why your all purpose is brilliant, guys. Because look, I can just rub all that excess glue off. Yeah. And it's not going to, so that's going to all dry on there beautifully. All right. Oh, ah, oh, rub before snow off. Well, give it oh. another dunk. Give it, yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go and give it another dunk. It's not a problem, Ben. It's not a problem with me little trick of the dunking. There we go. Dunk a bit, a bit more force <laughs> snow on. Ready to go again. Look at that. Beauty. Sorted, right? So uh, now I've knocked that base down. There we go. Right, that's perfect, ready to go. And I do just need to tidy up. All right. Um, in interesting as well, just seeing your comments coming through about the collection. Rebecca says, it's a tie for me between this and the gnomes. Uh, but this is by far my favourite Christmas collection. I don't consider the gnomes to be Christmas. I love the colour scheme and I love watercolours. It's one way to look at it. Tuzan, this is my favourite collection for Christmas. I just love all the colours and extra bits that come with it. Um, and Sharon says, I've ordered the domes, vellum, acetate. We'll be using my 3D Christmas scene inside the dome. I love that. Uh, glad you're considering keeping the dome, uh, domes tops in stock as they have so much potential. Uh, and then lots of chat about um, you guys putting your different um bundles together i put my own collection together says clarice three paper pads three of each paper pads snowman stamp and die four packs of snow domes adorable um vicky's saying i really like the bee collection but i love this collection more and oh here's a good question El why's my voice going to say hi there here's a good question elizabeth says hi can the faux snow be colored if so what would Ooh. be the best way Oh, I don't, do you know, I haven't tried it. Oh. There'll be loads of you guys have the four snow at home now, so let you give it a go and then let us know. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. What colour would you want to colour the snow, though? Because if you want the snow... Yeah. Do you know not, what I would probably not do? not yellow, Johnny, yes. No, yeah, exactly. definitely not yellow. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I would do, though? I would probably mix some um, iridescent glitter in with it. Oh, that's a nice idea. That would look debomb.com. That would be, it? yeah, sparkly snow. Right, so let's have a little look. So if I want this standing up, I want this quite near the top, I think, up there, right? Have a magical Christmas up the base there. And then again, I think it's just a couple of these little snowflakes. Oh, and then do you know what? You've got them toppers as well, haven't you? Yeah, you have the 3D toppers. Oh, look oh, how that just finishes beauty. it off nicely. Beauty, beauty. Right, there we go. And uh, so then, so now we've done a box as well. So there we go, one and then two on here. How, this is a good question, I don't know the answer to this. Cl Claire says, how many Sarah Signature collections and Nature's Gardens collections do you do in a year? Uh, so we do six or seven Sarah Signatures. Yeah. And about the same in Nature's Garden, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you know, I put a proposal forward for Nature's Garden once, and do you know what Leanne said? What? It's not nature and it's not in a garden, so it's not going to cut it. <laughs> what was it? I can't remember, I can't remember. I think it was, uh, it might have been unicorns or something, and, and Leanne rejected it because she said it's not nature and you don't find it in the garden. <laughs> so I said, well, it could be a sorry signature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so there you go there you go oh fab that i think that's my favorite card of the show so Is far it? oh hey could be a contender for card of the show actually give me give me a few minutes but i'm gonna need 
five, six minutes, I have got a little bit of snow all over and yeah. I can't find my stuff and I need to find another demo to do. All so right. Give us, a, um, give us a little while. Faux show. We will give you a bit of time. Thank you for all these comments. I, will, I love you so much. And it's lovely to know what you guys are enjoying most as far as this collection is concerned. Uh, Kelly Grant is saying, Crafters Companion has hit the ball so far out of the park with all the fantastic Christmas collections this year. It makes the bar so high for next year. This is what I was talking about earlier on. If you think where we are now, where on earth are these collections going to be this time next year? Just think about how great these are going to be because year on year, month on month, we need to make, make the collections better. Yeah, next year, this collections will be so big i'll be standing on a ladder to get over the top of them because we won't be able to see um carol d just saying um my bundle's got two 12 by 12 pads two six by six pads domes chunky glitter top it top of die cut snowflake dice tree dice snow globe dice snow fall embossing folder and sentiment damps die set free shipping boom it sounds like you pretty much got it all there carol uh christine says uh, you're killing me I bought parts of the Gnomes collection the night before Christmas and now this one. The paper pads always hook me. Absolutely, it's always the paper pads, isn't it? And that's why you need to buy more of them. Uh, and of course, then I have to add, add, add other elements. Um, and Gail, I mean, sums this up brilliantly on YouTube. Gail says, I was cherry picking, but then I ended up buying the whole collection. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's... That's exactly because what you do, you see, I always say this is you if you if you do the whole spend 40, say 5%, you'll get it and you'll love it and you go, oh, why didn't I get that? Bit? Why, why didn't I get that? And, and, and you'll end up coming back and if it's even still here, which you probably won't be, you'll then end up spending more money than you would have done in the first place. So if you are that person going, oh, I'll have that and that and that just get it all 131 pounds 99 169 dollars 56 as i said this isn't a one trick pony this isn't just for this christmas this is for christmases to come um, and if you add more of the papers in add more of the domes and if you can uh, the snow the glitter then you just know uh, that you've got plenty to be crafting with this year next year and potentially years to come too this is flying so let us take a quick break i cannot believe we've only got half an hour to go uh, so more demos to come uh, we've got you to vote on the demo of the show as well, but now is the time. If you've got stuff in your basket, stuff in your cart, for goodness sake, get them checked out now. Do not miss out. You've got two minutes. Ready, steady, go. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows, plus exclusive offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. 
uh, yeah, it was very busy at the checkouts again just then. Yeah, everybody uh, getting their baskets checked out. I, I love the way that you guys sort of like, you, you top up your carts, your buses, so you just sit there for a while, you watch all the demos, then all of a sudden there's like a mad rush uh, to get your carts checked out. Uh, J uh, Janice is saying, I bought the uh, Gnome Collection and this one as well. Uh, I might have to send everyone multiple cards this year. Yeah, make, it, make people cards one from each collection. They'll love you for it. Uh, you guys are such enablers, says Claire Flynn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are. That is what we are here for. Um, and Diana just saying, it should be against the law for you to have so many great collections in consecutive months. I'm buying more than I will ever use. And if my husband knew how much I've spent, I'd probably be single and poor by now. Uh, Panda Crafts is saying, I, I thought the idea of having the stencils to color with this year's collection was a great touch. Yeah, uh, and I love your collections, but love the craft alongs to inspire us to, do, to know what to do with them. Uh, so thank you, says Shelley. I think that's a brilliant thing that we do. Um, I think that's why the craft along as well it's like an award nominated show now as well don't forget because you know you get the ability to, to, to grab all of this get it home and then you're never stuck are you because you've got this show to watch back on YouTube whenever you want it with all of Sarah's demos and then with the craft along coming on the 22nd of August you know that you've got another free two hour tutorial done in real time as well don't forget with the craft along with Debbie so um, a few days before she'll put up everything that you need on the socials uh, from this collection and you can craft along in real time you can even guess on the show as well if you want to do that uh, but just to look through the um, the pattern paper pad again with you i mean how stunning is this this individually by the way is absolutely flying off the shelves what you're seeing now in a lot of paper pads that we do we bring you the back four pages um with little uh, die cut elements so again here you've got all of the characters from this collection to be able to pop out um you know and add to your scenes you've then got pages at the back here like we just saw that last demo where you can snip in uh, and use the images as toppers you've got little borders there as well uh, let it snow merry christmas sent with love um, there's just so much craftability within this particular collection and then when we get round to the 12 by 12 uh, papers themselves you've got beautiful scenes in here you've got beautiful patterns in here as well and as you've seen by the way 60 percent of the stock has gone uh, the color palette here is just so very different so if you've already got uh, twas the night before christmas you'll see with this more of a contemporary feel to it like the artwork on it uh, a little bit more of that sort of um scandy art sort of feel if you like um but like we said with this particular collection uh, you need to get at least another one of these paper pads because because you're just going to think to yourself, ah, oh, it's such a shame that I'm using this side because the other side is just as nice. I love all of the um, sort of foiled in touches on there as well. And as I say, the artwork is absolutely beautiful. 15 pounds and 99 pence if you want to go for this one individually as a platinum member or 18 dollars and 36 cents uh, but 60 percent of the stock of this one has gone um, as an individual just so so super cute there's 36 sheets within there and then we've also got your pearlescent car pad so there's four colors six sheets of each in here uh, giving you uh, 24 sheets. It is 250 GSM. Uh, I mean, our pearlescent uh, card is absolutely gorgeous. Half the stock has gone. But can you see again, we've brought you some brilliant colours. That blue is just absolutely off the chart. You've then got kind of like a, I want to call it, it's sort of like duck egg blue, is it? Baby blue? Um, and then you've got the grey in there as well. But you can see that the colours that you've got within this obviously match up absolutely perfectly with the colours that you've got um, within the paper pad. So again, it, it's not as if, look, if I show you here, it's not as if you've then got to like, go through and have a look for yourself and think, well, which of my paper pads, which of my card will match up um, you know, with the pattern paper? It's all been done for you. It's like you've had your own personal shop, but gone out, matched it all up, and then you can just get crafting. Uh, individually, 50% of that has now gone for $11.99 or $15.96 get it whilst you can because it will go um, and just to mention the domes as well if you think the paper pads are flying 70% of the domes have gone so so super usable and a lot of you again have chatted about these I mean obviously these are perfect for making uh, shakers for your um, Christmas cards 
perfect as well for using these to make your own Christmas ornaments, your own Christmas baubles. And whether you're putting you know, glitter in there, your sequins, your chunky glitter, your faux snow, whatever it might be, but you're gonna use those all year round as well. Um, get them because they're gonna sell out. £7.99 or $10.36. It's normally the paper pads that will go first. The domes will go first in this instance because they are absolutely flying out of the door. Add those into that full bundle because it's just gonna make the bundle go further. And we are now at two thirds of the full collection has gone. He's done it again. Johnny's just gone, uh-oh. It's £131.99 if you're a Platinum member, $169.56. Uh, and again, if you're shopping with us um, in the EU, check the website because there's uh, some slightly different bundles for you uh, to grab all of the goodies. We've got just over 20 minutes remaining. So let's get one more demo done and then we will get you to vote for the demo of the show. Good luck with that, by the way, because they have all been amazing. What have you got up your sleeve now, Sarah? Well, actually, before we go to do the demo, I thought I'd go a little bit rogue. Oh, hello. So can I show you the cards that I've got? Yes. And so you can see what you want to do for the craft along. So oh, comment okay. along here, right? I'm sure Debbie would be happy to teach you any of these cards if you want. Just so if you've got some ideas, so have a little look. And do you want to do, for example, the fabulous something? Something with the snow globes would be brilliant, but they are going to be completely sold out by then. Okay? I love this box. Although, should we have a little look what's inside it? Oh, what, what's in there? Because I haven't opened it yet. What is it? Uh, I don't know. It might be nothing. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Look ah, at that. quality. <gasps> With the watercolour, do you know something like that would be lovely, wouldn't it? It really would. But a card in a box, yep. I just think that's lovely. So uh, you've got that one. Uh, let me just get this lid back on before we move on. There's some watercolour techniques. You could be doing some lovely watercolour techniques with these. Oh, that's cute with the acetate. I love this. I love the step of card, centre step. Now, this is actually quite a simple one. So it's a centre step with yep. your lovely big topper on the front there. Oh, you could do a couple of cards in the craft along. Do you ever do that? Yeah, why um, not? Why not? That's never been done before, is it? Oh, well, 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 look at me volunteering. <laughs> us, right? right? This. Debbie, by the way, you're doing three. <laughs> yeah, everyone, you need a lot of gear. You're here for the whole afternoon. Um, do you know, the stepper cards have been really popular with this range with the designers. Look at that idea. I love that stick and loads of the, uh, the little glitter baubles on there. This was a card I actually made this morning over on Creating Craft. Everybody oh, really yeah. liked that one. Um, uh, there's more with the snow globes, and it's lovely that one with the snow globes there. Uh, there's the box with the snow globe on That's the front of it. That's lovely. got the snowflake mm. inside. Bags. I love the bags. The little bags were so quick and easy to do. I did one of them on, I think it was Twas the Night Before Christmas oh, Show. Yeah, little Christmas we'll Go back tag. and have a look at that. Uh, this is really nice. It's like a little stadium. Little stadium uh, of, yeah. uh, of people. Loads of colouring on that one there as well. Oh, hey, I like this. Oh, this is one of Leslie's. Now, Leslie, I do like that with that lovely, uh, it's got the acetate on the base. I think it's the acetate and the vellum stuck together. Is it? A little bit of vellum on the acetate there. Uh, oh, we've got now, look at this one. What about this? Yes. How gorgeous oh, is that? Oh, it's really clever. <gasps> Love that one there. Do you know Leslie has had an absolute ball with these? Leslie on our design team. There's some fabulous ones here. Uh, you could be doing the wrap. You know that snowflakes are coming from the side? Oh, yeah. Meeting in the middle with one of those little toppers on there as well. Uh, oh, and then this is lovely. Look at this. So it's like a, an easel card, but with just a smaller easel bit on the top. Love that. So there's all the cards, guys. There's a load of ideas for you. Uh, I know Ben had a load as well. I was so just going to. Do you want to show them go this? On, you well, show, go on. You do a couple of yours, Ben, while I move these out the way I, right. I just th these, I like that one too this is by the way. really cool it's like it's, I always feel like this little like a little snowman slalom going on there with those statement snowflakes uh, sort of going down the hill which I absolutely love that's great um, this one here again um, using that uh, statement snowflake but look how beautiful that is just choosing again um, you know, some papers from that beautiful paper pad a uh, bit of acetate there as well uh, looks stunning and then sorry you'll appreciate this one here the little scene little z fold card oh yes i do love that one uh, we do a little um, animals that you can pop out uh, at the back of the that's from your six by six which is also included within the collection uh, you've seen me little shaker uh, as well and this one here absolutely beautiful so again so much versatility and variety within this collection um, and that is, what, that is why it is absolutely flying out of the door the guys in the gallery have been so busy today Johnny honestly I've never seen he, I, I can hear him like normally he uses an abacus 
to try and work out what's going on. He's had to get the calculator out today, and I've just heard him say he's just going to have to have a donut after the show uh, to get his uh, energy levels back up again because he's never seen it so busy. His keyboard has been smoking. By the way, Johnny, launch party coming later on. Uh, you'll have to get ready for that because that's going to be just as busy. Oh, you will not want to miss. We've got some uh, goodies coming up on that show and some sneaky peeks for you as well. Seven o'clock here in the UK, uh, two o'clock East Coast. Uh, yeah, get ready. It is going to be fantastic. Right, let's go. Final demo time. Oh, do you know, wouldn't you be good if you were like at work all day and you missed all the shows? <laughs> We've got some really good we shows have, today. Haven't we? We have. It's I mean, we have fast. really good shows. Everybody was just, I, I know what's coming up on launch party. I was thinking, oh, you'd be good to miss that. Right, anyway, come on, time for a last card. Uh, guys, I've had to start again without you, right? So I've just done myself a little base six by six easel. So we're going to focus on the demonstration of said easel. Well, you know how to make easel cards. We've made loads of them, okay? So there's our base easel. What I'm going to do, Ben, is on the base here, I'm just going to bring in, let's have a little look. Look, look at these papers. I mean, just will you look at those papers, Ben, right? And look, I'm gutted oh, to be back. coming up the B track. Oh, come on. Right, so... That's why you I'm need to buy more of them. You do, and you only get, it's really important, guys, usually without paper pads, you get three or sometimes four of each yeah. sheet. No, no, do you know, I'm going to put that big snowflake round in the bottom corner. Just two in this one, is it? Just two in this right. one. Because we had so many gorgeous yeah. designs and all them toppers, so if you were ever going to buy more of a paper pad, this is the one to do with, I mean, look at that. Love that. Now, that works really well with the blue from the pad. So what I've done is, I've just cut out and I've already die cut just one of our scalloped edge circles. Okay. So that we can do an aperture card. Now watch this, a lot of people don't think to do this, Ben, right? So you can then get your, um, what do you call it? Embossing folder. Yep. And we can emboss after we've die cut. So when you're going to do this and you're going to die cut and emboss, you always die cut your shape first. So whether, whatever the aperture was, die cut the aperture first and then run it through the embossing folder afterwards. Don't do it the other way around, right? So, because you don't want to squash all your embossing. So now I've got a snow flurry with intensive snow at the top. Yeah, oh yes. And subtle snow down the bottom. Yeah. And then I've cut a piece of acetate to go behind it. Now, for anyone who wasn't able to start the show, remember, problem with the acetate is, it's not a problem, but you do want to just check because it will have, might be on the other side, it will have some protective film on the back, right? So look at this, I generally go over it. Is that with all of our acetate? Uh, the thick stuff. Oh, okay. Anything construction. Yeah. Anything construction has a little bit of film on the outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way, not to me embossed side, want the debossed side here. So I'm going to go all the way around now with that lovely uh, deboss. Now if you wanted to put, I'm just going to stick this flat, what you could have done is you could have used the domes and you could have actually d used the circle out of the die cut dome if you didn't have another circle. Yes. And then you could have either put a dome in or again you could put that snowflake flat in there. What I wanted to do is if you're making a regular shaker card, I want to give you a little tip here, Ben. Right? Where have I put my, I've just got my 3D form. I've got another one down here, but I've just got one out ready. Uh, I'll find it any second now. Right, watch this. Great tip, right? Go round the outside of the die cut piece not the outside of your card, Ben. Oh, okay. Right? So what most people want to go and do is they want to put the tape right round the square of the outside. Yeah. And then all that happens is you have to waste a load of your foam or whatever's going shaken in the inside because basically you could get, so say this was the base, you could get stuff collecting in these corners. Yeah. And then also what I like to do, Ben, is I like to go around once, peel the backing off, Oh, the whole thing in this case. Um, right, where's me backing? Come on, off you come, backing. <laughs> right. Uh, no, I'm having no luck with this, Ben. Uh, you're going to, you are going to peel the backing off really carefully, folks. Uh, there we go, that'll do, right? And you're going to go right round a second time. Oh, okay. Right? So that you get a really, really thick... Now, you can just buy thick shaker foam if you want. Yeah. Um, or I just generally buy the regular shaker okay. and go around twice. Um, there's so many comments still coming in. Uh, Diane just saying, Ben, I've just placed my second order of today's launch. I thought a couple extra paper pads were enough, but no, I just went back for more. 
uh, in both sizes and three more pads of the luxury card. I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, Emily just saying, even when I'm not ordering, I so enjoy watching the demos. I love Crafters Companion, says Shirley, as they are always there to help us when we get stuck and need advice. What a brilliant company. Uh, and lots of people saying, please sell the domes all year round. They're not just for Christmas. Um, and Barbara's saying, I like that stadium card that you showed. Can we have a craft along with that, please? Yeah, if you do want a particular craft along, do let us know in the comments and uh, we will see which is your favourite of the cards, which uh, Sarah showed you a few moments ago. And uh, we'll have a chat with our Debbie and see what we might do for you on the 22nd of August when the craft along uh, is coming around. Yes, because I've made the commitment, guys, that even if... We are completely sold out of this range. Yeah. We can't. Normally on a craft along, we try and make the uh, launch bundle available again, but uh, there's no way we're going to be able to do that with this. However, we will absolutely still be doing that craft along move. Hello, high water on the 22nd. Good right? I've promised. Right. What I've done here, I've used one of those toppers, Ben, just with the let it snow on, uh -huh. and I'm going to stick this flat onto the base. So oh, here we go. Right flat onto the base with my 3d glue now what do you want to put in do you want to put in four snow or chunky glue a uh, chunky glitter uh, let us put in some chunky glitter chunky glitter yeah so i'll put the four snow in there. no i'm just winding <laughs> you up i'm just winding you up now um, oh. i haven't said that i kind of find me chunky glitter no here it is here it is I, i'm right 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 so so remember guys we've double layered it up so all we're going to do is we're going to put loads of this in the middle, right? Yeah. Do not be spare. If you're going to be sparing with this, right, you're going to, I want you to go and buy extra. You got it. So plenty of this in here. And then look what we're going to do. So where was my snow flurry at the top? Yeah. That is just going to line up beautifully well over there. We've already got our sentiment built in. Yeah. We've, I've put that form all the way around the outside. So look what happens is that falls to the bottom of here not into these corners and wastes it right now just need a stopper oh look what i'm going to do with the stopper ben oh, right? yeah, we've got a lovely die which is the let it snow die uh here we go oh right? yeah so i wanted to show you all how this works because it's a two-parter right so you've got the outer and the inner so i'm going to go outer with this and you know what these fit beautifully in your gemini mini so if you're wanting to do nice quick and easy cards this is the way to do it right so there's your outer whiz it through and then the inner i'm going to do with a little bit of white uh -huh. uh, yeah there we go so there's your let it snow take the outer one back off cut this through now a little bit of a tip right while you're sticking these on so a lot of people i think sometimes struggle with well how how do i uh, how do i get this stuck really well right use your dotty tape pen so plenty of dots all over yeah on here uh -huh. right and then i'm going to go snow so we'll do the snow first there's the base and then this one here so that goes under the base there can you see how it's just got that lovely little bit of a shadow all around the outside yeah absolutely and then we should also have the let it and they're going to just fit right around there ben <laughs> there we go uh Rosalind says, I'm supposed to be looking for a crochet pattern, but I can't do anything else when these shows are on. Um, love the deep blue colour, says uh, Brenda. I wish it could be sold separately in large amounts. Um, the deep blue, to be mm, honest, all the colours are absolute winners. They in are, that stunners. Case. Um, I want to see that stadium, please, says Catherine on the, um, the Craft Along. And uh, Elizabeth said, well, would you consider a show called The Basics, featuring different products and techniques? If you go back onto our YouTube um, page, actually, you'll see a lot of our craft classes, which um, uh, do cover a lot of uh, the basics. Uh, but yeah, certainly something to bear in mind for the future. But um, yeah, there's plenty on there uh, right now, Elizabeth. Go to YouTube, subscribe to um, us here at Crafters TV, and then you'll be able to look up craft class when we cover off loads of the uh, the basics, like we do um, sort of like crafting 101s, if you like. You know, going right back to basics with things like your glues and things like your your dies and your stamps and your different inks and your different pens. So there's plenty there already if you have a good look through. I think we've we've covered off quite a lot with those, Sarah, haven't we? Oh, we've done loads, yeah. But yes, craft class absolutely had, like you say, all those basics on that maybe people are asking for. Mm. Um, do you think I can do one last go with the four snow, seeing as it might be the last chance we get four to Four show? Four snow, right here, guys, watch this. It's brilliant with your red liner tape, right? So if you take your red liner tape, go all the way along the centre like that, and I can bring that 
off the edges. Right? Do I love it as well, just whilst you're sticking this, the amount of comments I've seen today where people have gone, I told myself that I didn't need another collection, or I've told myself I didn't need another Christmas collection, and then they've gone and bought it as well. You can't miss out on this one because, like we said, Sara Signature Collections you don't come back. Nope. And you don't want to. You don't want to miss out here. You? you don't want to be that person who missed out. So grab it whilst it is here, um, and yeah, you will. Ab you will absolutely love it. And like I said, it, even if you don't use it this year, it's going to be there for next Christmas and the Christmas after. It's not a collection that's going to go out of date at the end of Christmas 2021. Oh, You're going to use this for years to come. No, it'll be fabulous. Are you ready for the dip it technique, Ben? Oh, yeah, dip it right. good. Right, so we go in, yep. go down. So look, there's half of it done. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. And then wow. you just okay. bring the other half, yep. dip it in. Now, dip. there's no glue on there. Now, all I do is when I get to this stage is just fold the air out. Right. So that you're not storing air as it was, right? And then with this one here, look, it looks a bit fluffy at the moment. So I just give it a bit of a tap off. Tap off the excess. Oh, no, don't send it flying, tip. right? Tap off the excess. That's going to go on there, and I'm just going to use again some of them little foam foam pads. I'm, I'm feeling the foam pad love today. I'm channeling me in a Craig. Yeah, you certainly right. are. Craig's obviously uh, rubbing off on everybody with his love of the old foam pads. Hey, Jan's been using it a lot recently, Johnny. Has she? she? Apparently. Oh, yeah. right. I always had Jan down as a wet glue kind yeah. of girl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised as well because Jan is normally the, the lady who struggles with getting the backs off the foam pads. I'm surprised that she's turned to those. Uh, oh, she's getting good, is she? These, these ones, man, they're easy. These yeah. ones are easy. Right, so that's going to go up the middle there. Then I've got my Let It Snow, which I'm going to pop down there. I think I will use, though, a little bit of, uh, yeah, more than a little bit, actually. Let's go with this. Right, so, oh, it's the vote after this. We've got, we've got seven minutes left, Sarah. Oh, hey, crazy. Flown by. Right, here we go. Let It Snow. Yeah. It's going to go on the bottom. That's going to stand up there. Now, oh, yeah. all I feel like it needs on here, Just and I haven't got time to die cut them, I've cut out some lovely snowflakes. Yep, okay. So can you see, I've cut out loads of the different ones. These are, by the way, folks, all designed to layer up, right? So you're going to layer up all of these. Let's have a look. I feel like I need one more white one. Yes, right. Right, let's layer them up. So here we go. So down in this corner, let's go with a nice big... Uh, Silver. Yeah. Then a white. Oh yeah, in the Ooh, gaps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I mean work. about them going in the gaps? Yeah. And beautiful. then a turquoise to yeah. go on the edge. Yes, now you're talking. Look at that. And then I'm gonna do the same up here. So we're gonna go uh, let's have a look. I had a white one, didn't that, and a turquoise. White and then a tiny little tap and the turquoise on the edge. Now you don't I'm only doing it with the um with the glue gun because we're kind of racing against we the are, clock time now. is going so and then i just think these little gems in the center always finish them off beautifully well yeah yeah now you're talking he just when i thought i'd seen my favorite card a minute ago you go and pull that one out of that pull that one out there nice yeah. isn't it and then with a the little bit of a snow and that's got the chunky glitter yeah. it's got the snow Both in snow. it's got the let's know it's got the beautiful background papers Yeesh. there's a lot going on in that one um, Shall I well, take you through them then? Yeah, let's get you lining up those uh, those cards. Um, loads of you telling me now that you're checking out. Should I says resist if you want to? I think resistance is futile. Uh, I've just got the globes and the globe maker. Um, Marion saying I don't think any of Sarah's signature collections would ever go out of date or fashion. I still use things from all the collections. I have even the older ones. And Cindy just saying I've made my second order, but I get working so I can pay for this all today. Conference calls coming up. Have a great day. Thank you for that, Cindy. Uh, let's get. Get this vote going then so how many are you doing then was it five, uh, uh, Four or well, five? well i've got this funny bit of a dance going on that oh go on like what's that dance right, for so, I mean, so yeah oh hello what are you oh this is my number one the demo dance the de oh the demo dance yep. i like that okay. we'll go with that right so there was number one number one yeah card number one to vote for number one pick one <laughs> <laughs> vote for number two. Pick two. Right? Yep. So there's number two on there. To vote for number three yep. with my watercolour delight. Oh, I'll give them that delight. I like There that. is number three. Watercolour yep. delight Ooh. with a little bit of a snowflake on the yes. corner. Ooh, number yep. three. Da, 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 number four da, 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 was a dual da, purpose da, da, da. box and oh, easel card this is delight the one, all I think. in one. Yep. Right? So there was number four. Right? And in fifth place, yep. we did another easel card with the glorious snow in the middle. So there is number five. E, cast um, your votes now, guys. <laughs> cast your votes. <laughs> it's a good little dance, isn't it? You do it really well, Ben. I don't yeah. know why I pulled that face on it, but... 
Uh, you've literally got ooh, uh, two minutes to get your vote in. One, two, three, four, or five. Whilst I tell you uh, that this collection is absolutely flying. And I tell you what, there will be people who will continue to buy after the show. If you're one of those people who's gone, right, well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. And I'm going to uh, buy after the show. You do need to get your skates on a bit. Um, stock wise, Johnny, where are we at as we head towards the end of the show on the full collection? Uh, yeah, I thought it would be 70% of the stock has gone. So many of you have told us that you uh, love this collection. So many of you have told us that this is your favourite collection. For me, I just think, as I say, compared to the Toys the Night Before Christmas, a very different Christmas collection. It's one of the biggest um, Star Wars signature collections that I've seen. And I think also it's a collection which you're going to be able to do so much with, with the addition of things like that chunky glitter and the faux snow, with the addition of those domes in there for you as well to make all of those different elements, those ornaments, those baubles, those shaker cards. With the addition as well of those brand new aqua pens in there too, not seen before, those are here within this bundle. But you think about all of the papers that you've got, the paper pads, the cardstock, the vellum, the acetate, the fact that you've got all of the embossing folders in there of different sizes. You've got stamp and die sets included in there as well. You've got the Build a Snowman feature included in there too. You've got the snow globe included in there as well. This is a kit, as we said, that you are just gonna be coming back to time and time again but get it whilst it's here, because it will go. And remember with Sara Signature Collections, the don't come back. Everyone saves £42.78 or $53.94 today. If you're platinum, you have another 20% off, which represents huge value for money. And as we've said, you know, if you're going for this today, make it go further, add in um, more of those paper pads, add in uh, another one of the pattern paper pads, because um, they are gorgeous. You're gonna have to do it today, producer Johnny just told me, because that's gonna sell out add in another one um, of the um, pearlescent card pads as well because those are flying out as well the six by six paper pad is flying out the door add in as well if you can more of the domes for you too because those are flying i think last time we checked oh there you go 20 percent of the stock remaining on those 20 percent of the stock remaining those are going to sell out and as it, another thing just to mention i know i'm saying buy everything uh, but don't forget of course we have got your um, water reactive dyes in there as well as a as an extra if you want to add those in um, there's 10 within that bundle to complement the colors that you've got within this collection final few comments we're just waiting for that vote to come in uh kathy just saying i keep telling myself i only need the snowflake dies ha 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 famous last words uh heather just saying sarah making it look so easy and stunning uh d saying i'm watching comments i'm so glad i'm not the only one in distress about ordering this collection or not uh dear heavens why do we need to have to pay bills uh says D. Uh, listen, uh, if you've got these goodies in your basket, now is the time to be checking out. Come back to us as well tonight at seven o'clock because we've got our launch party, uh, brand new goodies to show you there, and also some sneaky peeks coming up as well. Still waiting uh, for the demo of the show boat, but whilst we're doing that, sorry, if anyone's on the fence with this collection, last words from you on it. Just go and have a look in the Facebook groups, go in the I Am A Crafters Companion, the fans of Crafters Companion on HSN, look at the cards our designers have made. They've made more cards with this collection than we ever, ever get to know. I mean, it is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, honestly, something else. And it's kind of caught us off the hoof, Ben. We, it's caught us by surprise. There will be elements of this range sell out today, which means, well, Let's just say when the craft alone comes around, it'll be whatever we've got left. Four. Four. It's the winner. It oh, votes were spread out. That, was, your, that was this one. Right, I'll move them all aside. It was the easel on a box. Do you know that was really simple to do as well? If you yeah. all want to try that one at home, super simple card to do. Go back and watch it. You've got all the measurements on there too. Love that so much. I've loved this show. If you've got stuff in your carts and your baskets, you need to be checking them out right now. Sarah, thank you so much for popping in when you weren't even supposed to be because you're on holiday. When are you back? I believe I'm back on Friday. Well, we shall certainly look forward to that. Thank you to Sarah. Thank you to you for watching as well. What an amazing collection. What an amazing show. Get your carts and your baskets checked out. We'll see you back in here for two hours uh, of launch party in two hours. Time. What a great show. We'll see you in just a bit. Bye for now.